Yo, welcome back. Little Jolly Gamer Show, E3 is over. This is episode 113. Yeah, you got it right. Good job. Um, th- hey, that's Jacob. Hey, it's me. Hey, Jacob, how you doing? I'm Brandon. Yeah. And who's that over there? Steve. Steve, hey. It's not how Steve always gets excited. What up, what up Steve? Unless what the hell are y'all doing at my house? <laughs> <laughs> we're over at Steve's house today. We had to move yeah. some furniture. But we're talking about E3. Remember our last episode? If you listened, which I know that you did. Of course. Right? of course. We did our E3 predictions, and you know what? We totally should have like recounted what we got right, what we got wrong. But hey, you know oh, what? Oh, yeah. We don't, have oh, enough, I didn't think about that either. we don't have enough time to prep that kind of I can stuff. Tell you how, I, can, I can tell you from I can tell you how well so. I did on the Nintendo one. I can pull up the bingo cord right now. The bingo cord? The bingo <laughs> cord. I got I got three of them, and one of them was the free space. You had, you had bingo? Did you get bingo? No. Uh, so, uh, Jacob has procured a list because he is the notes master. Mm-hmm. He has procured a list of everything the that, record has, keeper. that has happened. <laughs> not necessarily in chronological order, but yeah. in... Um, I like Sam from Game of Thrones, Good but not... Yeah. Big. <laughs> we're, we're gonna go through um, <laughs> conference. There's not even conferences. Uh, presentation by Sam presentation. Streams. Events. Uh, yeah. This was a yeah. strange E3. Very um, weird. Yeah. This was the first one uh, post pandemic mm-hmm. and completely virtual. We talked a little bit about um, Jeff Keighley's SummerSlam. Yeah. yeah. We talked about that in the last one. So if you wanted to hear that, go listen to that one. But uh, where do we start, Jacob? So I think we probably because all the rest of the stuff was happening the day when we recorded, uh, like IGN, Guerrilla Collective, the Ben Olsen Direct stuff. So yeah, um, I think I could probably skip. What some we of would these. start with would be yeah. Ubisoft Four. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, we, we probably want to. June twelfth. Reveal. So, uh, so it started off with the Rainbow Six Extraction. That looks good. It does kinda, look pretty good. I was kind of hyped for this one. This is like their Overwatch 2. They were like, hey, we got a great PvP system here. Yep. we got these operators people know and love, but they want to play PvE. Yeah. Here's your answer. Now, I do feel bad because this was originally called Rainbow Six Quarantine. <laughs> <laughs> and, and it was about a viral outbreak that was turning people into right. kind of zombies. Zombies. Like, but they were like, hey, we can't do that anymore. Yeah. So Which they, is good. they made it aliens they, instead. I like it because zombies is, is it's it's really not that far off it's, of the It's getting yeah. kind of old. Yeah, zombies, like, like Jacob yeah. said, zombies are getting kind of stale. I mean, at the end of the day, it's still a monster that looks yeah. kind of zombie. Either right. either way, this is a this is a Tom Clancy game, yes. and it's already it's already reaching for the stars as far exactly. as it's not a realistic game. It's really cool. Well, I mean, it's realistic in its combat, but it's not realistic in its um, its story. So yeah. and so, I, go ahead, like knock it knock it out of the park. Go for the aliens. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, sure. Why not? Aliens are relevant. There's UFOs out exactly. there. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. And they the, the 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 alien thing that works with them is like so it's what do they call it sprawl. The sprawl is like that goo that will move out on the floor, and if you're in it, you're slowed down. So you mean it, like the it, Ivan ooze from Power Rangers? Uh, yeah, I mean, I guess. Similar. But, you, but you gotta be... You I gotta heard he's shoot, a DLC character. You gotta <laughs> shoot, uh, uh, oh, I heard a rumor. The thing I like about this, because I've played Rainbow Six Siege, and Rainbow Six Siege is a great game, and it does, just like Overwatch, a great job at using those classes, yeah. pre-made classes, to synergize with each other. And... Like, pro- Terrorist Hunt is on Rainbow Six Siege. You can go in there and fight Terrorist bots in the game already. Mm-hmm. So to have this with, like, an actual... Because the bots are bots, right? They, they're just supposed to just stand there, shoot at you when they see you in all the same game. Right. Yeah. Bots are bots. Bots are bots. Bots are bots. But like, this this is interesting. And what's really cool about this, I like, is that if you get captured, or I should say that if you're... So I, let's say I'm playing as... Uh, sledge. Sledge. Uh, sledge. Brent, sledge. Brent, 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 I was going to Sledge. I'm Every time you break a wall, I Sledge. Um, but if if you're playing a sledge and I get captured, then we've got to get a team, me, you, and, and Brandon, we're getting back. and go get my sledge back because uh-huh. he's got, that's really neat. That's I think that's cool. Cool. Yeah, and I'll now he's grayed out it, on my it, roster. It gives you a, a, a sense of accountability yeah. sure. and a sense of responsibility because yeah. you, you might not want to risk your most valuable player. Yeah, exactly. And, or you might want to, you know. Let's say Steve wants to play a sledge and you you want to play a sledge. Yeah. And he goes and he loses his and we gotta yeah. go help him get it. So his. like every every different character is like a different class, kind of like Deep Rock Galactic. It's yeah, kinda. it's like a big well, big hero shooter, but yeah, yeah. they at, at their core they all have similar shooting yeah. mechanics. Maybe one person has a shotgun, maybe someone. It's not as like unique as like um, Farah is gonna have Farah's gun right. and, so, and, and Tracer's gonna have Tracer's gun. You're gonna have similar 
like firearms, but you're gonna have special yeah. abilities. And I guess I'm just trying to think of it in a comparable and a uh, comparable aspect. Like for example, since I mentioned Deep Rock Galactic, I guess I'm imagining like if I'm a flamethrower guy going into a situation, get captured, and then I have to go in as somebody else if I need that flamethrower guy. Kind of. It, well, so Rainbow Six does either yeah. offense. That's or not what happens. Rainbow I'm just that's they're just less. They're more specific per character. I got you. Exactly. That but, makes sense. But the, yeah. as far as classes, there's none. There's more. There's offense uh -huh. or defense. Oh. Because oh, if see. you're playing PvP. You're either defending the bomb or the terrorists, yeah, or you're yeah. going to attack them. So okay. the defensive guys are going to put up walls. They're going to put reinforcements. Uh, okay. See, I've traps. never played it, so I don't really but know how But it works works. the same it's synergy. It's a good game. It is a really if good you, game. Let's say you have a defensive character that maybe drops walls and traps because, uh -huh. and then me and Brandon are playing more of an offensive character. We're going to you're going to bring the defense and, and say, okay, Steve's going to go out, lay some traps out, and we're ready to attack whatever hive or whatever yeah. the aliens work. All right, Steve, you got everything set up, cool. Everything's barricaded. Let's do it, and we go yeah. in guns and blazing. And, 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 and so now, it, yeah, it now works. instead of using it in that PvP aspect you can totally reimagine what these characters are going to do yeah, yeah. in this because they they don't act like other operators they're, yeah. they're their own thing uh and also uh they have new abilities that you level up mm -hmm. the operators yes. and you can you can That's get more abilities and make your character play how you want mm -hmm. i mean you, you, cool. can't have, really you, cool. you can't have a sledge who's going to have like the electronics of, of uh, what's her name, Pulse or whatever. Yeah. I can't remember. Yeah, that's right. Uh, is that right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, got it. Nice. Um, but you can you can further um, you can get further in the sledge's abilities yeah. and do more things that he would do. Yeah, which incentivizes you to play sledge more. Yeah, so if, if you like his grenade, yeah, like you can upgrade his grenade or something. And there's a lot. I, I, like don't, I don't know how many they're going to release. And you but, know you know who's an operator? Sam Fisher. That's right. He he's an operator. Oh wow! Okay. I don't know if he'll make it back in this game, but he's yeah. in the game. I'm trying to see why they wouldn't. I don't know. There's a lot of neat operators. Yeah, uh, they've really made. I'm glad players. they showed this game. I've been I've been waiting to see it, mm -hmm. and I think they, they they started off on the right foot yes, with this. I, I think I was really excited to see this game. I think it looks great. Yeah. Um, I would be tempted to purchase this game. Oh, I think I had. Oh yeah, this is. This I mean, one. I'm tempted. The alien thing was pretty. Cool. It was around the corner, September 16th of this Yo, year. Yo, after E3. The end of this year just got really crowded. Yes. It did. It really did. Specifically October. There's Especially like this year. I mean, it's crazy. I mean, I feel like um, just a couple weeks ago, maybe maybe a month ago, we were just like, gosh, there's no, 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 there's like, there's no like, games come. There's like six games coming out. And here's E3 talking about. Here's a game. Here's a game. Here's a game. Now shut the. Fuck up. <laughs> there's like yes. Mario Party, Far Cry Six. Um, Metroid, all these things we're gonna be talking about here oh, pretty dude, soon. I'm so hyped. That's all in October. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think I don't think E3. I, guess my money. <laughs> I don't think E3 gave us a soul blower. Yeah. But I think they get they gave us. In, I agree in, with that, in that surprise, like what yeah. you just said, like, hey, yeah. guess what? These games are coming this year, yeah. guys. So I, I have something I'm gonna talk about okay. that might open your eyes a little bit to why we should be more excited about a specific thing. And I'll talk about. It later. Okay. Yeah, and I, I got I got I got something to talk about too. Y'all are gonna be like, oh, so there goes let, Steve. Yeah, back let, let's move forward in the Ubisoft. All right, so Rocksmith, Rocksmith is pretty. Cool. It's a fun that is app. really cool. It teaches you how to play guitar, but Very cool. it's, it's not a hero it's, it's style. Like, like it's not a game. Uh, so Rocksmith's been around for mm -hmm. like ten years. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they always had. They always this, had this is like the ten year anniversary, I think. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, and it's not a game it's, anymore. It's more like an app. Yeah, it's, yes. ro ro it's what was it, Rocksmith Plus now? Is yes, Rocksmith. Yeah, so yeah. basically, it's a subscription. You pay for it, and then dude, I pay for that. You can mm -hmm. you can plug in your guitar, and then they'll be uploading new songs and new stuff for you to learn. Yeah. So I I oh, really yeah. think yeah. the way that they're doing it. So you're right. It's not a game, but I think the way that Rocks, Rocksmith presents itself, it's like, this is how you play a guitar, but we're going to make a game out of it. I think that's uh, very beneficial for a lot of people, especially it's neuro... A, it's a way to learn intuitively. Exactly. Especially neurodivergent people like me with ADHD, you know? It's so difficult for us to sit down and pick up craft, and I think that's awesome. Yeah, yeah I think it looks great. It I mean, looks it's kind of like... Sorry, it's kind of like let me cut you off. It's kind of like 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 there's there's new systems for learning like Babel. Yeah. Like Babel teaches you yeah, yeah, like yeah. how to just say the words instead of like individual like putting sentences together yeah. like your like your French teacher teacher yeah, did exactly. in high school. It's just like and hey, also, here's a sentence, just repeat it back. Yeah. Exactly. And if you're a kid, like for younger audiences, it's 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 way more interesting for them to when, to visually exactly. see it on the TV. When screen. you make it when you make it to a game like that, yes. where you can like like okay, you know, miss miss miss, you know, when you like 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 how guitar hero is. But with like six strings of guitars, like that's gonna incentivize people because they're gonna see the mistakes they're making, they're gonna see what you know, mm -hmm. what they need to do to fix it. And I think that's awesome. Yeah. So, so kudos to Ubisoft. That's really cool. Yeah. Um, yeah mentioning yeah. that made Ubisoft go up. Were you excited about this one? Riders Republic. Yeah. Okay. Did you play? Steep? Kind of. Did you play Steep? Anyone play Steep? Yeah, no. I did. I okay. Okay. This this is Steep. 
Uh, but expanded. Not, but not just snow sports. Yeah, expanded. Oh. You've got bicycles. Oh. you got like mountain biking. That downhill mountain biking. Wait, wait. The I mountain think, biking. Okay, I remember you now. Got, I remember um, now. I remember this game. They're bringing the jetpacks back. Suits. They're bringing uh, squirrel suits, parachutes, they're paragliders. Dude, yes. It looks, it looks like a lot of fun. That is like I, I think... I, it's probably not like a day one. I'm really for me. underrated. I'm no, really underrated. But Ubisoft what, you know what was fun is like me and Seth, we played Steep and like we would hit the same. Like what's cool is that they have certain runs. Like this is the rabbit run or yeah. whatever. And at, when you would get to the end of it, it was like the run is over. Here's your score. Yeah. But you could hit a button to instantly reset, and go back to the top, and keep trying. And yeah. Keep trying. And me and him, we would go back and forth. I would get high score, score attack, and we yeah. would just constantly. It's like I could imagine doing that with all these different sports. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, I will say this: expanding into like the non-snow stuff looked pretty cool because there was there was a couple other. Did you see the releases the, about? Snowboarding games. They had too. the bicycles with the rockets on them. Yes. Hold and on. did you also see that <laughs> yeah. one of them was a rickshaw with an ice cream cart? Dude, it was. What? It was. Dude. It looks like a lot of fun. Yeah. There's kind of, a, it's kind of a hub world kind of. Yeah, thing. it's definitely a social experience. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of like multiplayer stuff. Uh, I'm not much of a multiplayer like goal. competitive. Yeah. Like well, well, like interacting with randos. Oh right. But sure. uh, it looks like it's a lot of fun for people yeah. who like that kind of thing. September second. So that one's around the corner. Yeah, not a day one. But no, 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 no. I mean, it looks good. Um, if it gets good reviews, I might consider it. They they talk about Rainbow Six Siege. They talked about moving it to PC. Luna Stadia crossplay 2020. Oh man, I can't wait to play it on Stadia. The, the new operator looks cool. Yeah, Thunderbird. Like yeah. Native American yeah. lady. Like yeah. like um saving that other lady yeah. from an ambush. So it's gonna probably be medicy. I like her cool jacket with mm-hmm. the. That's cool. So the other the other game that we were just talking about is that Rainbow. That's a Rainbow Six title. It is it is a spinoff of it's Rainbow. A spinoff. Oh, extraction. Okay. Okay. Yes. Yeah, Extraction. Think of think of Siege as Overwatch and, and uh, Extraction as Overwatch Two. Gotcha. Yes. Okay. Exactly. That makes sense. Okay, because I'm analogy. a little confused with, mm-hmm. with how they wanted to do that. Yeah, separate applications, but same universe, same characters, same engine, right. and things like that. Yeah. Uh, they did they did a live game update, Sizzle Real, which basically is just all their existing IPs for Honor. And again, I've mentioned this before. Ubisoft's got issues, but Ubisoft does one thing. I said Ubisoft. Ubisoft does one thing that's good. They support their games. They sure do. Yeah, they do. They, they support sure do. the crap out of their games. How about that new uh, Just Dance? That was, that was next. Oh, was it really? <laughs> See, I didn't, I didn't get to catch. I did not get to catch. Segue. I did not get to catch Ubisoft, so I don't, I'm going in blind. Uh, so yeah. that's totally coincidental. Just Dance is... It's, it's there. It's Just Dance. Hey, Julie's going to be happy. Julie likes They had this dance. segment with there's, this guy. There's a, there's a market for it. They had this segment with this guy. Did you see that? Mm-hmm. I, I have no idea who this this guy is. I, I, I never heard of his music. Yeah. Like a dancer, know. producer. I'm old creator. now. <laughs> I guess I'm old. I don't know. Never <laughs> never seen this guy in my life. Very flimsy. Oh, in about um, let's see, in about less than uh, maybe like twelve days, I'll be old officially. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah. I'll be in Jacob's uh, Jacob Jacob's age bracket. Yeah. Mm. Uh, November third <laughs> for Just Dance. Sorry. Uh, they did some updates for uh, Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Okay, can I say something? Yeah, Assassin's Creed Valhalla looks great. I kind of want to pick it up at sure. some point. Maybe whenever I see it on sale for twenty bucks. Yeah, maybe when the, it, when the, it, yeah um, it doesn't. Look, I don't know. Other than the name, I'm not sure what. It's does he on. have the the wrist? But yeah, he does. Okay, uh, well then. But, <laughs> but what I wanted to say was, I saw in the updates like like some of the the quality of life fixes. Like, yeah. like it said something like along the lines. Of, I'm paraphrasing. It was like you can use one handed swords now. Oh, I saw that. And I was like. You couldn't use a sword before? Like, what if, like, I mean, I guess because you're a Viking, you use, like, a axe, 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 but, like, Vikings use swords, too. I don't know. It's so weird that that game's been out for how long now? Oh, it's... Almost a year now, yeah, yeah, and year they're plus. just now putting one-handed hey, swords. Guess there. what's coming tomorrow? Maybe they were swords. there. Maybe they were there before, and he just never picked them. I don't, I don't remember how I didn't, you I didn't do play the weapons game. in that game. I didn't play the game. Yeah, I, I, didn't you? Didn't you pick up weapons? You acquired them, right? Is that it, how it, it was so long since. Well, I don't no, know, no, since no, no. Ever, ever since. Assassin's Creed Origin? Origins, mm-hmm. they start on this like it's more of an RPG game yes. than it is. Like you don't just pick up weapons off the ground. Like you don't kill a guy and pick up his sword. Yeah, you get named. Item okay. drops, like a almost so like you don't a get fat loot. Yeah, pretty much. Um, they talked about that Mythic Quest comedy of, that was from the guy from Always Sunny, Philadelphia. That's on Apple. They talked about that Werewolf Within movie. I'm surprised um, it's still on. So yeah, congratulations. Good for them. Um, yeah, it was a new season for Mythic Quest. Like it wasn't like brand new or anything. Uh, and then pretty they talked cool. about this is where they they segued into Far Cry Six. Far Cry 6 looks really good. It I don't want to really, see anything really cool. else about it. No, exactly. I uh, I think they're, they're, this is all I need to see. Yeah. The guns look cool. I like the like like ghetto, like fabricated, fake, fictitious weapons, yeah. backpack shooting. They've kind of jumped the shark out. a little yeah. bit. Yeah. I'm fine with that. Sure. But it looks like it's still suffering from the same thing Far Cry 5 did where it's like you got one extreme and you got the other. You got this ridiculous, you got roosters with spike. Oh, like right. necklaces shooting rockets from their butthole, and yeah. then you got 
like uh, John Carlo from um, from Breaking, Breaking Bad, Bad playing this very serious character yeah. with these like they are neglecting their say it but yeah. really serious political like mm-hmm. overtones sure and then they're gonna collide in a way that I don't know if it, it's gonna break my my want to experience the story I like think, it happened with five I think they're gonna pull it off I think they're gonna pull it off I, I think hope it's you're very, right and uh, it's a very interesting concept because it's like it's like you said it's the over the top it's Cuba silliness and come on this is Cuba I, I love how they're like they're like it's not it, it's not they, based off they, of it. it's Cuba it's they, Cuba they bro. said they it's said, Cuba it's literally Cuba. Look, they said oh it's not political and then they're interviewing Giancarlo who plays uh, Castillo yeah. who's the main bad guy yeah. and he's literally talking about uh, how he drew inspiration yeah, from right. Oh, right. Um, Hitler from from he, say he Hitler? did say Hitler he did but say he Hitler? said Fidel Castro, Fidel Castro. Castro. specifically yeah. he went to that and I was like I mean so I mean I'm not trying to like, throw Jack like, over the bus uh, 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 but uh, uh, no no other, no <laughs> that's my biggest concern other than I mean either way I'm gonna play and enjoy yeah. it just, just like I did five I think yeah. five is underrated yeah uh, I can get that into that some other time but um, I have one other complaint about Far Cry Six everything yeah. I've seen about it so far I think the character models look kind of. Dated. They do. I they agree. They do. I agree. Uh, 100%. Other than, do they not other look than, like, uh, like Far Cry? Other than Giancarlo's character, it, um, it look, yeah, yeah. Like his, his it, looks. It, can I? Say, but I mean, he's got a real life example. It looks of like, like really like. Hey, we're testing the end of PlayStation I, Four era. Yeah, yes, pretty much. Yes. And can I say yeah. an adjective to describe it as plasticky? Yeah, yes. I can agree. They, they look kind of pl- like their faces, like just. They don't quite have that agree. level of expression that you see from a modern game, and maybe they'll upgrade that but I doubt it it looks like this game is pretty much ready to go yeah, yeah. but um, I don't know <laughs> that's my thoughts on it I uh, think I think so uh, sorry Jacob but, uh, uh, I, I, to go back to that point I think um, it, it, it really takes uh, a special approach to make that that kind of comedic over the top look and the politics work together but I think they can it just I think it, it, I, and I think when it does work it pays off very well it just depends on how well they balance Ooh, it I also want to say um, not trying to cut you off but, no you're um, good they oh, also said they said that the mission structure you can play any mission in whatever. Yes, order. I do kind of like that. I like the idea of it, but I'm scared that it's gonna be the same sauce. Yeah, well, I don't want it to like because sometimes you need some linearity in your story mm-hmm. to create urgency and stuff. Yeah. So like, I don't know if it's like a far like not Far Cry, uh, a just call situation where it's yeah. like go do all these things, or even Far Cry Five kind of did this. Yeah. Like, yeah. Go do whatever you want, Foggy whatever you map, want, pick whatever, and bad then guy. at some point we will throw the important mission onto you without yeah, a choice. I didn't like that. That's that was one of the big things about Five I didn't like. Either. Yeah. But we'll see. We'll that's my, that's my, pretty my similar. S, uh, what is it? Uh, a single player deficit disorder. Yeah. yeah. S- yeah. SDD. It's SDD. pretty similar. It's pretty similar to the way that kind of a link between worlds did it. Because if you remember a link between worlds, there was no linearity as far as like the dungeons. Like, oh yeah, you yeah, do The yeah. dungeons in any form, but then once you once you got to high once you got to the part where you had to go to higher castle, but you had to go to higher castle. But you're also using yeah. Nintendo as an example. That's and true. They, they design things That's very, very very well. well. And this is Ubisoft. Yeah. True. 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 Um, I think they can pull it off. Poo-poo. I just I don't want to poo I'm just saying. Yeah. No. 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 I agree. I think they can pull it off. I think they just need to be careful. Like I want to be like. I want to be convinced that things are happening in order and that there's a reaction sure. to an event. If, yes. it's, if it's shoehorned Agreed. to where it's like you do whatever whatever system you want, and then you have, like, let's say you do, like, um, I, I don't really know how to like, say it. Like, like, you go burn down this crowd field and you go blow up this airport, but it's all leading up to just the one main mission where you go to the bad guy. Exactly, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, wanted, like, you, I, want, you, I want to see you, uh, you, consequences you, to that. Yeah, you want to see reactions yeah. in the world to what exactly. you're doing. Exactly, yeah, exactly. Like exactly. If I, that's if, what I was trying if to I say. Chose, like, like, if I choose to burn the crops first, I want to go to the next place. And they're like, hey, you saw that cabron over there, man. Like, he burned down our crops. Or, or like, yeah, they're like, hey, then the next mission, these soldiers are weaker because they don't have any food to yeah. steal from the people. Yeah, that'd so be, make, that would be really cool. It might make this cool. next mission, like, you hey, want... cabron, he burned you, all our food. You want, action, <laughs> you want actions and reactions. Yeah, exactly. That's, that's, that's what I was trying to say. Thank exactly. You. I, I don't think it'll be. No, no, I don't think so. Yeah, I know Far Cry. No, oh, of course. But we're we're, course. we're just we're, we're giving them the benefit. Oh yeah. Well, yeah. I say this. Far Cry's got it's still gonna be a fun. Game. Lot, a lot of systems going yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But even yeah, with the next yeah, gen, yeah, I just don't know if they're gonna. Oh yeah. Um. So they. But the cool thing is they did the season pass stuff. Looks which. Yo, Blood thank you. Dragon. Okay. Firstly, the best Far Cry game that exists is gonna be available. Blood, Blood Dragon. Give me something to kill. Is it? Is so? It is. It's basically a port of the original board. Yeah. Just an HD. I didn't know. Just a modern upgrade. I want to say HD. Yeah. When movie. you said Blood Dragon, I didn't know if you meant like there's like a new Blood Dragon. Oh or, God, I wish. Or, um, but uh, that game is is probably the best Far Cry game, uh, just because it's a smaller scale, yeah. it's achievable yeah. for someone like you. You will love it. Yeah, the comp that that era. Mm. Yeah, that's uh, so good. That, that villains game. They didn't have a 
a title for it? No, it basically it's like a, a side story about where you get. Yeah, plays I wanted to know more about that. Like that's yeah. really, so it's like it's all the villains, all the villains together, alternate yeah. reality where you play as the villains and they have to face their demons essentially. Yes. Um, Which hey, look, all those villains are good. Yeah. yeah, I, I, I want to play as all of them. I, actually, the one I'm least interested in is Far Cry 4. Is, I think oh, Voss, yeah, uh, Voss of course, is the most interesting. Uh, but uh, even Joseph Seed, I think Joseph Seed think, think yeah, was, was a great cool. villain. I, yeah. I, I talk about it all the time. Far Cry 5, in my opinion, yeah. is underrated. Maybe yeah. one day I'll, I'll talk about it. i got to pop that one I, in and play not, it one day. I'm I'll not, play it with you. I'm not mad at you. I'm just disappointed. Dude, he's so good. He gets in your soul, man. It's so deep. I uh, love complex. That actor is... I, you, you know, man. we need more we villains like that. We shall march through Eden's Gate together. <laughs> you need, I, you need he'll be more like, villains. He'll be like, you'll kill all his men. He'll be like, I forgive you. No, maybe like, you, like yeah. spoiler alert, like you kill his brother. You kill his brother. And he's, not, he's like, I'm not mad. I'm just disappointed. <laughs> like a dad is so... And he yeah. stares in your soul. I'm and, sorry. Anyway, anyway so next game. Um, yeah. they, Mario, okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I don't want to poop on a game, I'm sorry, I want to bring positivity to this. Mario and Rabbids? But Mario and Rabbids Bar So, Hope. they showed this at, or it got, it got uh, leaked? Yeah, so it got leaked right before the right stream. Before the show. Literally uh, right before look, the stream. Look, it looks like a direct sequel, same exact game, except just improves in just yeah. about every way possible of the original. <laughs> this is where you, I look, just for brain, your boy showed up. Uh, <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, uh, finally the little small Frenchman showed yeah. up. Uh, he was not eating a beignet, so yeah. points off. Uh, oh. Points off of the uh, <laughs> the, uh, the presentation. No, it, it looks it looks good. It does. It's not my game, but it looks. But if I was into you know, that tactics, you know, game. Uncle Nintendo's there supervising it, making oh, yeah. sure it don't turn to yeah. poop. Okay, so he's okay. When you when you mentioned him, I was like, wait, are we moving on to a new game? But no, he's no, doing no. that game. Okay, I got gotcha. you. Um, and then well, they, well, he's, he's it's the, not uh, it's not my cup of tea. I'd rather them do Rayman. I'd rather than see go back like bring back some Rayman stuff. Sure. Because it's like Rayman raving well, they, rabbits. They, like why they, not? they just had a bunch of... Well, they, they separated rabbits from Rayman. They did all the Rayman Origins and Legends games. Yeah. And which are really, really good yeah. really good platformers. They were just rabbits by themselves. They but yeah, the, the rabbits, they were, they were just too dumb. Yeah. So they had to... Yeah. Which I agree with. I don't know why... It, I mean, it's got that similar thing as to... Uh, what am I thinking about? Um, the minions. minions. Yeah. They're yeah. minions. They're just yeah. minions, yeah. It was funny at first, but now we get it. So yeah, we're over exactly. and kind of uh, yeah, the rabbits never did it for me. Um, I mean, they kind of do that rare thing where it's like, let's focus on the gimmick instead of the actual game. Uh, I think Se- me and Seth were watching this, and yeah. uh, Seth uh, was. I, th- I think he was just watching. <laughs> we saw the opening of this next, the last reveal, yeah. and uh, he was like. He's like, man, that looks like Avatar. He's like, he's like, he's like why would they be doing an Avatar game? Yeah. And then it shows all the Avatar stuff. And I was like, yo, dog, that's, that's Avatar. Yeah. And uh, I think it looks fine. It looks... What's important it... to know is that it's, yeah. it's from the same people who did... Um, it's uh, Is that not the same people that did Just Cause? I don't know. I can't I remember. Yeah. Avalanche? Yeah, is, is that... Are they doing that game? Uh, it might be Avalanche. I can't remember. I can't, I can't quote that. I can't remember. It's, it's, it's so funny that you Who's mentioned that and that they came I'm out with Avatar sure. because they were because like I mean, wild. if if anybody's gonna do it, Avalanche, you need yeah. an open world game. I mean, Avalanche is a, a while game back, game. everybody was talking about there being an open world Star Wars game that Ubisoft was working on after EA's contract. Yeah. Out, and here they come with Avatar. I wonder if that's something if there's something tied in with that. Like maybe they started on Star Wars and then Disney was like, ha ha, milk. And it could and it could be an interesting world. Yeah, I mean, Pandora is a very neat world. Wait, wait, so Frontiers of Pandora, right? right? Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm looking it up right now. That kind of to me sounds I've like, a, it, like a like a like a pre thing, like like the the they conflicts that are going on further from, somewhere else on Pandora. From what I understand, they they didn't say no. They, they didn't. Be, they didn't say anything. Oh, it's it. massive entertainment. Um, Let me see what massive did. Hold on. Talk amongst yourselves. I don't know. Like I said, that that open world looks neat. It's I just. I don't know if I'm just hyped about that universe just because Avatar is a cool movie. You never watch Avatar? Oh, so Massive did Far Cry 3. Which is weird. The Division. The Division 2. Okay, okay. uh, And they did some Assassin's Creed games. I don't care what he says. I like The Division. The Division's got some good story for an open world game. I really, really liked The the Division in a lot of ways. Hey, look, Avatar never got a good game, so I'm all for this. Have they even made a game for them yet? They have. They've made. The only thing about Avatar that's really cool is like nobody talks about this anymore. I don't know where this came from. Right. I know yeah, they got Avatar portions in Disney World. Yes, that's the But no one part. even asked for that. Yeah. You know, it's a beautiful world. It's really cool. It's a neat idea. I, but I like, love it. I love that this is why? here. But no, yeah. It's, I it's, mean, I, I'm not going to say why. It's I think it's a good idea. 
Uh, I guess I'm saying instead of saying like why did you do it, it's like why did you choose this event? Any yeah, like, yeah, I, yeah. I understand why they, they did it. I think it Ubisoft, was popular at one point. I think Ubisoft did make an Avatar game for the Xbox 360 a long time ago, yes. and it was poo poo. Mm-hmm. And maybe they're looking to rectify it. Was it an, here. Yeah, I, like, it I was, love the way you say poo poo. There was there was a uh, oh, that cage and can, cage I, can I also say I would like to see human and Navi gameplay. I want to be able to play as a dude. Yeah, both sides. I want the big yes, mechs. I would agree with this. I want to jump in. I want either side. I want, maybe a story on both ends. Uh, probably, yeah, I, I don't know if you will. Swap it between characters. That'd be cool. I, I, yeah. I think I agree with you. I think you some should, guns, I think that, some bows and arrows. I think that the humans, I mean, don't get me wrong. I've never watched it. I don't know the story. Stealth the humans are, are, seen, are, are seen as the bad guys, right? The humans, yes. because they're like a they're Pocahontas in, story. Yeah, yeah. Invading... Is Sigourney Weaver going to be there? I hope so. Uh, let's, let's, no, probably not. Anyway, Ubisoft overall, what'd you think? Uh, oh yeah, thank you for wrapping up. I was gonna say yeah. we, we forgot to go over. Uh, I way. think it was it was okay. I would say this about all these, and I would say the same thing for Ubisoft. I don't think it was strong. I think it was just it was good. Can I pre? I want to preamble all of these by saying the last that after the the year that was 2020. Mm-hmm. I'm giving all these people a pass, I, and my yeah. my bar was set to medium height. I agree. It sure, it was set to medium height. This one, and I think that was a. a yeah, strong, it's true. A, yeah, I think it was fine. That was great. I think. I mean, like you said, it, I, I'm not like. Like here, take my money, but I think it's yeah. fine. I'll, I'll probably pick up extraction. Yes, I'll, I'll, extraction will be day one for me. Yeah, uh, I think it was good. Uh, speaking of, is it, what's our what's our faves? Our, uh, fave uh, uh, movie soft. Yeah. Um, I mean, that's what I, I, extraction's mine. I'd say extraction. Yeah, I'm gonna say extraction. Only because Far Cry Six already got sure. detailed beforehand. Yeah, sure. So. And we don't know anything about what Avatar yeah. is. Yeah. Well, right. I mean, uh, okay. I guess I guess I'm gonna go ahead and say Far Cry Six just because I don't really know anything about the. Rainbow Six uh, universe. Universe. Yeah. I mean, it's really That's cool. Fair. I think it's gonna be really cool, um, and I definitely want to play it. But I mean, I don't know. Like Far Cry Six seems to be the type of story that I'm very interested in. Just okay. Yeah. The, the political strife. The political going strife yeah. against a, a tyrannical governor. I mean, government. it's a. Like, I think it's a close race between. It, it is Far a very Cry close race. And, and, as far as uh, do y'all want to do like overall? Oh, we will overall later. Yeah, I guess we'll do a wrap up. We'll do a, like a rank at the end. Yeah, of we'll do later. Okay, All right, so. Um, I don't know if y'all watched Evolver. I didn't. I did not. Okay, I did not. not. Ge- you you want to just mention Gearbox? <laughs> oh my god. What are we even doing? What are we... Or- <laughs> like, I tuned into Gearbox because I thought maybe they would have some details on Wonderlands. Yeah. Uh, or maybe some Borderlands 3 DLC. Because I was like, why would Gearbox have, have a, have a mm-hmm. specific stream? Presence. I swear to you, all this was was Randy Pitchford hanging out with a bunch of... Not even hanging out. Just annoying a bunch of celebrities on the set of the Borderlands movie. What? Not showing anything. Just sitting there talking about it. There was no magic tricks. <laughs> there probably was. They probably edited it out of the stream. But it's just... It was it was <laughs> awkward. It was just Randy Pitchford. I don't get the, don't get the magic trick. Here. That's his thing? Like he, does he, li- he likes to do magic tricks. And then he, remember he lost that USB drive at Medieval Times. And they found it. And yeah, remember that? had gearbox secrets and pornography on it. Yeah. You remember yeah. all that? Yeah. Oh, man, anyway, so... So it's another running Randy Pitchford now. is... No one likes him. A mess. I don't know, but... I would say he'd, he'd, like He would go knock on Kevin Hart's trailer. He'd be like, hey, how's it going, Roland? And he'd be like, hey, I'm Kevin Hart. And you could see in his face he just did not want to be there. And then he's like, why is this weird white guy not yeah. leaving me alone? Yeah. Anyway, that was the Gearbox thing. Well, Moving that's, on. That's sad. Um... They spent money on that. Uh, <laughs> let's just preface it with that. Okay, so I, I didn't know Eli Roth was doing the movie, but that's uh, that's cool. Okay, that's cool. Sort of. Yeah, hostile. All right, <laughs> that's, yeah. that's where my brain goes. Um, I mean, if you want cool, uh, Xbox and Bethesda Games Showcase. Ah, uh, we get to see the newlyweds. Yeah, we get, to get to see the We're newlyweds. Very, it's, it's so, like it's like the reveal of the royal couple. So Starfield started off. We got a date, which was kind of hinted <laughs> on no, the way we. God Howard. God Howard out came out, yeah, and talked about how he's excited about okay. how long he's been wanting to make this game, which he specified. Before. I want to state for the record that the headline Starfield was is has been twenty five years in the making is very um, misleading. That's yes, very in the making, this means, game yeah. has not been in the baking. It's not been in t- development. It's been baking it's in been, his head. It's all been, <laughs> it's all been leading up. <laughs> I like that word. It's, it's all been leading up to yeah, this. Yeah, he's been it's brainstorming been, for a long time before the okay. development actually They showed started. the trailer. Yeah, 11-11, in, in, in engine footage. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It, it looked good. It looks fine. Mm-hmm. By concept, this is... I've been wanting it a game... It looks really cool. I've been wanting a game that's not too far in the future. Sure. But not modern time. This is kind of like that alien... You know, alien... Like, yeah. that alien time frame. Kinda yeah, it's kind of like... Digital... Digipunk. 
Well, I would say it's it's like sci-fi, but not like where they can get away with a lot of stuff. Because, yeah. oh, sci-fi. Like, 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 it's like close like, enough to like It's like reality. If, we, if we were able to figure out how to go to space today. Yeah. You know, that's you, what, you know what I'm saying? Like, remember how Alien was like, it, it seemed like this could have been real? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, I, I literally just rewatched Alien 1 and 2. Yeah. I'm, I'm gonna rewatch I three. love the Alien but aesthetic. This, I love that so much. This seems kind of close to that, but without the 80s aesthetic to it. Yeah. Yes. And that's kind of what I want. So I'm excited, but all that being said, this gives us nothing, nothing no. to go off of no. at all. All we see is like him booting up a ship and then good luck. And a small little Easter egg, um, a drawing on a board look like um, a certain uh, region in Elder Scrolls yeah. that might tell you where the next Elder Scrolls is going to be. That's not confirmed or denied. But And they gave us a supposed date. And they gave us a date of 11 11 22 yeah. which is next year and I, we talked about this in our group chat a little bit i think that this is not a bummer but they either should not have announced this last time or not last time but the time before that right yeah right right, yeah. right. they shouldn't even talked about it or they shouldn't have shown anything now because now you have this awkward gap where we know what it is Sort of, mm-hmm, and now yeah. we have to wait at least another. We're yeah. probably gonna wait until next E3 before E3 they before actually, show us again. Yeah. right? And then by then, hopefully, if nothing goes wrong, yeah. it will be released, you know, month within months of that presentation. Yeah. Here, here's what I think. Here's uh, I, so this is why I think it went. The, it's going the way that it's been going with, with that in particular. Um, they, I think they announced it in 2019 with every intention of it of us like. Of, of them like coming out with a little more details like kind of giving you some morsels in 2020 and then I think in 2021 they're just like Elder Scrolls 6 you know I think that's what they wanted to do with it I think what happened was that the pandemic came in and was just like yeah I think the pandemic messed it up plans. but also they couldn't foresee that they were going to be purchased by Microsoft that too because Microsoft bought them and then what they say goes at this the, point exactly so maybe they greenlit some things and Shut other things that down. That too, yeah. yeah. I, I think that's why. I think that's why they announced it so early, and then it just, I, it just, it's a victim of circumstance. I, I think, think if they would have shown yeah. just a little bit more. Yeah, I agree. I, I, think I agree. The, not like I'm not expecting the full board yeah. gameplay, but they would have just showed a little give bit us, more. Give us some more. So give me like a little sizzle, thing. sizzle like give us clips. A, yeah. Give us an idea of what, what kind of environments we might be seeing. Mm-hmm. Or give me a lick. Give me like, a little lick. General like, is it a strictly first person or third person? Just general idea of yeah. what is well, this going to be. Kind of like, kind of like the Outer Worlds two did. Was just, I mean, their trailer was kind of funny, but like you remember Outer yeah. Worlds two, they did it like yeah. it was just like clips. Yeah, we're we're going to talk about that pretty and, soon, right? Uh, but, 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 this one. but that kind yeah, of same thing, like just yeah. flashes of stuff, like oh what what oh that plant's got flowers. Yeah, this was just like hey. Uh, it's going on a ship and good luck. Like literally, <laughs> like, I, I don't want to say the yeah, word. Yeah, we're in space. We know. <laughs> I don't want to say the word generic because that's not the right word. It just was like, it just looked like some dude blasting off into space, and then there's just an astronaut in a spaceship, and it said Starfield. I was like, I'm, right? I we mean, know. We we knew that that this was gonna happen, <laughs> yeah. but yeah, uh, it's not like remember with Fallout Four, we got more with the Fallout yes. Four yeah. reveal yeah. than we did with this. I agree. So that's what I'm I, I just, just, yeah, a, I just a little, yeah. just a little bit of more. Yeah, I want, help. I want a, I want a more sort of crust. Maybe, maybe the Game Awards will show up and they'll maybe drop some. That's true. Some stuff. So our savior, our Perfect. real savior, yeah. Jeff Keighley. Jeff Keighley. Dun, 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 dun. Um, that man is a national treasure. <laughs> so international. <laughs> this, international yeah. this game, I never that. played the first one, and I have uh, uh, kind of like you with like political stuff. Yeah, I am to Chernobyl. Chernobyl, excuse me. Chernobyl. Chernobyl. Well, I'm from Chernobyl. Chernobyl. Rooftop rubber at Chernobyl. In Chicago. Uh, <laughs> Chicago. Um, Stalker <laughs> 2, Heart of Chernobyl. Uh, so this is kind of like a somewhat paranormal-ish. Yeah. Like it looks creepy. So uh, it looks a lot like Metro. Have it you looks ever, a lot like Metro. Yeah. Have you I ever mean, uh, yeah. have you ever gone on YouTube and like looked up like like real life zombie attack and seen this video of like this helicopter watching these four people? It looks like chasing this guy and then they yeah, catch yeah. him and they rip apart. That's stalker one. Yeah. They yeah. Catch that them, footage. They like, like, oh, yeah. it, it always plays. You. It always makes you think that that's real footage just from stalker. So, one. From, so stalker, I, I know. My majority of my stalker knowledge comes from uh, weapon packs I would download for for games. <laughs> <It's precarious. laughs> yeah. uh, so I don't know a lot about it. Is it made by Russians? Is it made by, by, I by all, that, I, all that was in, people because it was Russian. Russian. All I know is that it looks like Metro. I think they were trying to go for authentic, okay. authentic. But it, yeah, it looked like Metro, but more paranormal than. I yeah, think yeah, it's yeah, a yeah. neat concept. That was I cool. Mean, like the, the, the guy cool. had like the Geiger counter and he had the bolts and he would throw them yeah. just to try to find where the anomalies yeah. were and yeah. it would get sucked up. I think it, oh, I remember. I said it. I, I told Seth it looks like. Uh, Death Stranding and Metro combined. Yeah, that's what sure. I said. Yeah, and uh, I, 
It looks interesting. Just, I'd, I'd play it. The I mean, Chernobyl it's, disaster and what the impact it has had on our on our planet since the, the time it happens always intrigued me. And so for them to take this and go, okay, what happens if actually something changed and we opened a rift or something into the, you know, that that's pretty interesting. But it, it's a, so I don't, maybe, maybe preface before we get deep into it because I have the notes on each one of these these announcements. Might as well just go ahead and say every one of these announcements should say at the very beginning, Game Pass Day One. Yeah, yeah, past yeah. Day one. yeah, this is the game I like past day one. Now, now look, that's, that's, I'm not, I'm that's not something happy. that really put 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 me up on Microsoft. Yes. Like I had Microsoft as number one for I, a long time. I assumed they that, ev- that. that everything that they announced was going to be on Game Pass. pass. Um, or I, you know, I I didn't. I really thought that they would try to they would try to convince people to buy it outright first instead of it being day one. I thought I, I thought they would do day one for a couple things like yeah, know, special like, things like, like 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 you know big names like Bethesda stuff like that. Like I think like I thought they were gonna do that, but I think like I really thought that a lot of the majority of what they were gonna announce was gonna be like it'll come on Game Pass eventually, but we want you to buy it outright. Well, yeah. that that's the that is the problem with Game Pass though. Yeah. That is the one big problem yeah. with Game Pass. Like for example, they, later in the show, uh, they actually announced just games in general that were coming to Game Pass that are already out. Yeah. And one of those is Yakuza Like a Dragon, right. and that was one of the more popular games that came out last year. And could you imagine being someone who bought that game like last month? Yeah. And then and you're an Xbox player, and then they're like, oh yeah, by the way, it's coming to Game Pass. Yeah. And then you're like, well crap, you know. That's the bad thing about yeah, Game Pass. That's the Anything that's not on Game Pass, you're better off just not buying because exactly. it might show up there eventually. Exactly. But that's the thing about Xbox is that anything that they're, that's under their belt, is, you know is going to be Game Pass Day 1. Yeah. Um, and, they're, and, and, and they're just killing it, with it in my opinion. Yeah. I think it's a very... It's a, I don't know how they make money off of it, but they did. Yeah, that's, that's my it's thing. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's got to be. I'm exactly the same it's way. It's got to be profitable because, I mean, you're just... I guess, you know, I guess if you could secure somebody in for 15 bucks a month and they forget that, like, me, like, I mean, I'll be honest, before I got this SSD, it's been, like, it's been a, a good while before I've touched the Game Pass game, but I've been paying for it. Mm-hmm. And that's, suckers like me is worth probably that's how they, that's how they make your money. That's, yeah. how, that's how they make your money. Yeah. That's how they make your money in the gym. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, um, yeah. Uh, April, sorry, so, so uh, Stalker 2, April 28th, 22. Uh, 22. 22. Uh, 22. Back for Blood, October 12th. It's a Game Pass so, launch. We don't really need to talk about it here. No, yeah, yeah, we yeah. talked about it a lot. I'll just say that they added to the hype. It's like, yeah, it's like they have a nice little tasty morsel and they added some salt to it. I think this is another case of don't show me anymore. Yep. Yeah, 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 I yeah, agree. Is that I got everything exactly. I need? I agree. I agree. Uh, this was the one you were excited about. So Contraband. I got um, the Contraband, got the Hawaiian Punch Man. Everybody <laughs> want to holla at Pop. What, what you need? Yeah. I got it. If I ain't got it, I can I find it. Understand? Yeah, I go get it. Yeah. All right, I'm so contraband. I'm from Marara. We don't know. We don't know. They Marara didn't. Is. They didn't show very ambiguous anything. anything. Yeah. But what they did There's say is mm-hmm. that these are the developers that made Mad Max and Just Cause, I'm and they are making an open world co-op based in the 1970s yeah. smuggling and heist, heist game. game. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, dude. <laughs> and that, yeah, that, dude. That pushes. You have my curiosity now. You have my. That 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 pushes almost every button for me. Absolutely. I'm really excited about that. Yeah. I, I, we but, got politics. We got nuclear. Well, whatever yours is, and then we got, got uh, heist, heist, stealing things. Heist, stealing things. Stealing <laughs> for the kleptomaniac <laughs> in the room, yeah. I guess. <laughs> 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 um, but like, no, I I think. Uh, in concept sounds good, but they literally did not show anything nope. else. Nope, that's it. We're but just... I, but I, I mean, I'm not I'm not opposed to that because you know this is a brand new IP, brand new reveal. Sure, yeah. You know, I think if they show the hand too early, that's so cool though. Because I love that music. Yeah, you're gonna be stealing like you're not gonna be stealing Do like. It again. Yeah, it's gonna be that music. Mm. Um, and I mean, just think about the time period. There's, there's think about security. Yeah, you don't have to worry about like this is the CCTV. Step, yeah, yeah, this yeah. is the CCTV. The second scope against the the safe trying to yeah. yeah. I would like that a lot. Uh, this was y'all's favorite. Uh, this uh, Sea of Thieves, a yeah. Pirate's Life, June twenty. Look, 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 you can ask Julie. You can ask Julie when they when they released it. I go, oh my god! And Julie's like, don't yeah. You know what's, you know what's <laughs> That's funny? Tuesday. Is that me and Seth? Yes, it is. I just downloaded it. Me and Seth were, were, uh, were watching it, and uh, I was like, man, I was like, I, I was like, please give me a reason to play this game. And it came, it came on. And there was this lady talking that sounds just, just like, like Calypso. Uh, Calypso. Yeah. Just and like she's her. like. You they be one soul you must save and, but, and Seth was like, dude, they, they're totally just ripping off Calypso, like Tia Dalma. See, that's, that's, what, that's yeah, that's what I thought they were doing because you see, like I heard, but, but it's voice. not her. It's not her. It's yeah. not her. And then and then we I saw the dog with it's the not, keys and I was like, I was like, yo, they are just straight ripping I mean, off. I was, I was, like, I was like, there's and, no way. And then and then it's like Jack Sparrow. <laughs> and she's like, there be one soul you need to save. And then he's like, oh, I'm Jack Sparrow. I was like, holy crap, dude. Yeah, and then you know, I was like, I was like, dude. 
David Jones got to be in here. Sure enough. And then da- he's, just, he's, he's a new random encounter. He is a new random encounter. So not only do you have to worry about the Megalodon, not only do you have to worry about the Kraken, you got to worry about Davy freaking Jones. And they're showing the uh, they're showing the Kraken fully now. Oh yeah, no! Yes. yes. <laughs> Hype, like, oh god! Life has been engaged. Brandon's Brandon's thalassophobia has just hit freaking critical well, I don't, mass. I don't know if they'll show it in the water, but they, there's apparently underwater sections where you yeah, oh so you, you fight it and it's like coming to a cave or something. Dude, no. I don't know. It's, no. gonna, it's gonna be cool. I no, I'm gonna, I'm, gonna to, I'm gonna have to resub wow. to a Game Pass. Do I need to find an Xbox? Do I just need to find an Xbox? Yes. I just need to find an Xbox. Yes. Probably at some point. I, I can't. I can't play that game on this computer. Oh man! Funly. Man, look at it. Funly. Funly. I like that game. Yeah. I like that word. Right. Funly. Yeah. 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 Exactly. So anyway, imagine playing on this. Anyways. Uh, all right. So then you just talked about the Yakuza series. They announced it was coming to Game Pass. Yeah. The, most of it's on there already, but sure. then they just announced more. And the cool thing about Xbox um, with Sea of Thieves is that we can chat on Xbox Live for Xbox Party. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. It's cross platform. Um. So they they did some more sizzle trailer for Battlefield 2042. Let me take a minute. I've talked about it in the last episode. God, that game looks freaking good, Every dude. Time. It not, I'm just like like yeah. like hey, the game looks like the theme and everything. Like it looks good. Like it does. Yeah. And my brain is trying to process these new consoles and these new next gen uh, specs on PCs. And I'm looking at this game like, there's no way that game's gonna run good. It's not gonna run good. This is the tip of the iceberg. Oh my, my gosh. gosh, this is the tip of the iceberg. <sighs> You're in the end game now. <laughs> this is this is year one. We're in the year. Oh, we're, we're, we're in the end game. Now. Yeah. This is year one. So every time I see this trailer, every time I see gameplay, every time I see anything about this game, I want to play it more. Yes, man. This looks that, so good. That parachute dropping down yeah. the tank, and it's just the retro rocket, so the tank yeah. can slam down. But so if you, it, I don't know if you played four. The four campaign is it's like got it's wraps, like wraps around like the nuclear warfare yeah. and nukes go off. So I'm thinking so we have screwed the planet up because if you if you realize in this trailer they're it's going tornadoes. through well they're not just tornadoes but Bill Paxton's ghost you're going is through the, back for the whatever city. the city is but it's all sanded it's yeah. all like the sand has sanded. taken over and like it's in the streets and so like it looks like the planet's like dying maybe yeah I hate seeing um, it. so core some rock and gets everywhere <laughs> so, uh, so that was really cool too I don't know if y'all noticed this scene this is just the Wait, shooter in me did, did they. Sh- this isn't where this premiered, is it? Mm-hmm. it no, is? no, no, not premiered. They just they extended, showed again, extended yeah, trailer, okay. gameplay trailer. That's right. Because remember, the other one was just all those really, like Seth talked about. I just it, like, like, like they're fighting on the rooftops and they jump off and they yeah, glide yeah, down yeah. past a tornado and a, a, a tank flies past. Right, them. right. It's like they're going full stupid with it and yeah. I, I couldn't be happier. Yeah, um, and I like just there's some intricate detail, details. There's a scene where you get in a, in a elevator. I guess it's doing a loading cutscene to go to the top of the mm-hmm. skyscraper. But the guy takes his gun, looks, and there's like a plus pattern of mods. And he's like, ch 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 He's like switching around the mods on the fly, and you see the mod just changing the gun, and it changes. And he's, so like you can like maybe change your like mods on crisis, on your guns, like, like the, like the original crisis Ooh, did that, where yeah. like you could look at your gun and you could choose what you wanted to yeah, swap yeah, yeah. out. Yeah, that's, that's cool. really cool. cool. So uh, I appreciate quality of life. And again, October twenty second, October. October, gonna be is gonna be October is gonna just shake us down, yeah. man. I'm gonna be. Hey, you got money? You pick, you up, pick you up by your ankles and just well, shake well, you till you have money. What was this next one? Um. Uh, oh, uh, Annapurna, uh, Annapurna, uh, Annapurna. Did that, what, that, Jacob, you're on a roll today, man. I, mean, I can't talk. It's okay. <laughs> um, did the, it's the one with William Defoe. We They announced it, maybe? Oh, 20, uh, 20, yeah, 12 minutes. minutes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It looks interesting. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'm, I'm down. Uh, it looks that's, like a really unique concept. Yeah, did yeah. on Game Pass. Uh, that's, uh, what is Who it? else is in it? William Defoe is not the only one that did it. No, they gave it. some more actors. It's uh, Willem Defoe. Willem Defoe. Willem Defoe. Willem Defoe. Uh, Willem Defoe. Uh, Daisy Ridley. Daisy Ridley yes. and uh, the McAvoy. Uh, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Death yeah. Split. Yeah, yeah, Death Split. Death Split. People have no idea what talking about. Split. No, that Split. Anyways, but... I mean, when I ordered my ticket, that's why. I told a lady I want to watch that. Sports. Is this where they showed Somerville, or is that later? That's later. Okay, it's coming. Um, that does look okay. Like Psychonauts two. We got a. Uh, this game looks good. I, could never, I, I, I own never. the original Psycho- okay. Psychonauts. I played it. I couldn't get into it. I don't know why. It's my fault. It's not the game's fault. Apparently, it's really good. But these poor Tim Schafer makes all these incredibly yeah, he does. unique and uh, special games, and nobody ever plays them yeah. except for this really hardcore cast of people. Like, like right. it's like it's that like a, niche, it's like a cult, niche group. It's like a cult following yeah. of the stuff, and then like it's just it's never enough for him to be successful enough to to 
release this stuff. But I feel like this has been in development for a very, very yes, long it time. Yes, um, it's time for it to come out. Yeah, and and playing with uh, is August after playing Persona and like doing dealing with like the mind and going in and fight this. I mean, that's what this is, right? So yeah. Uh, yeah. That, that that concept's interesting. August twenty fifth. August twenty fifth. Game, Game Pass Day One. Uh, like I said, you could just just might as well just say Game Pass oh. Day One for everything. A um, bunch of this at this point, they just talked about all the Bethesda stuff coming to Game Pass. So you don't really mean Optimize Doom Eternal for the Xbox Series. Can we X. can we talk about uh, the, so the Brotherhood of Steel stuff? The, the Fallout seventy six stuff. Mm-hmm. This uh, is really interesting still because rain. you know what they don't have in Fallout seventy six? Good story stuff. Yeah, this and it looks like they're actually like making that. an effort to bring a really interesting narrative with the Brotherhood of Steel like civil having war. a civil war. Yeah, that's, that's pretty cool. I would like to say absolutely. If you guys wanted to, I'd be willing to jump into that. Is it cross platform? Mm-hmm. I don't know. No, no. If it is, I'm down because I got it on the. Um... I mean, if it is, it's probably like PC, Xbox. <laughs> yeah, it wouldn't be. Yeah, Sony, they're gonna Sony's probably gonna be a turn. Um, but I, I, I own it. If y'all just say the word, I do I'll, have it on I'll PS4. It's on, I just, it's on sale I just for like don't ten dollars. Play it on no, PS4. It, man, it. I'll pick it up with you. Because um, I've been, I've been looking for an excuse to dip my toe in the Fallout 76 yeah. waters because it's been like now, two, now two or three the, years, and they, now the NPCs are here. They fixed that game yeah. a lot, apparently. Yeah. So I'm it's interested. It's got a different, a different but it's gonna, it's gonna uh, wait introduction, I think. It's, it's, it's gonna have to, it's gonna have to wait for a, 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 a game drought though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right now, and we're, also we're they're saturated. they're they're removing the battle royale mode because nobody played it. Good. Um, <laughs> and then then we got a, a quick look at a, a teasing at the pit is returning. Yes. Yeah, July seventh. That's another reason why I jump mm-hmm. in because you get to go to the pit from yeah. Fallout Three. Yeah. Uh, so and then they talked about um, Elder Scroll stuff. Uh, Elder Scrolls Online. Online stuff. Another one of those games where I'm willing to dip my toe into yeah. it. I just every time I play that game, I just don't want to play I it. Bounce off. That kind of just. I play it for it's a while. It's just weird. It's an MMO. It's it's weird combat as an MMO. Well, MMO. I play it's it clanky. and I have my werewolf mode, which is a really cool, like, kind of customizable class in addition to your to character. Your character already. Uh, but man, I just don't enjoy playing that I game. Don't, I don't. I don't know why. I'm sorry. Um, Party animals, gang beast, much good grief. Is that a this, ripoff? This is just gang beast, but it does look better. It, I mean, it does. <laughs> it way better. It does. Uh, Twenty two. Um, Hades. I look, that that game is coming. It's coming to Xbox. It's also coming to PlayStation as well. Great. But if, a lot if of people's not, game of the year last year, right? Oh, yeah, yeah that, that's a good game, man. August nineteenth. Wait, that's it, it's the original Hades. Or is yeah, it, yeah, it's just it's, it's not a sequel. No, it's no, no it's just it's been ported. It's, it's not already it's been, on PlayStation. No, it's been on uh, uh, Steam and uh, uh, Switch. Switch. Surprise. Really. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I thought it been on there. Yeah, wow. and it's probably like mm. like 19 bucks is what I picked up for the yeah. Switch. That's a good game, man. I'm um, gonna go pick it up on Steam. Okay, Sum- S- Somerville. Somerville. That looks good. It looks really good, but I'm so scared to play it because I don't want to yeah, cry. Yeah, man. <laughs> oh, with that with the kid. I know. As soon well, as it looks so scary. Mm-hmm. scary. At the very end, like you see the mom and dad are sleeping on the couch. You see that kid. You hear something going on. The kid gets off the couch. It's like no, 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 no. This has to be from the same people that made Inside because it looks limbo. It looks identical. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what you're talking about now. That, that's Limbo too, as well, right? They didn't. Say yes. That. Okay. Yes. Uh, and Limbo's a good game. Um, oh, Halo Infinite. This is where Halo Infinite debuted. Okay. Oh, we got a lot to unpack on this one. Yeah. New AI. Apparently, Cortana's not dead. Uh, some dude was supposed to. Uh, Chief was supposed to take Cortana and delete her, and supposedly yeah. someone else has taken her. And now we don't know what's going on with that. I would like to say I have no idea what's going on in the Halo storyline anymore. I, I know pieces. I kind of, I kind of. Seth said it best. He was like, he's like, dude, is this is this a story about Master Chief or is it just a story about Cortana? He's like, I'm, he's like, I'm, I'm tired of the Cortana stuff. And I was like, you know, that's kind of why Halo Reach was the best one. Yeah, I, I agree. Because it was more about the universe and less about just Master Chief and Cortana, and it was more about just. The Halo universe in general. Yeah. And that's why I really like Conflict. Halo. They lost and, me. And, and ODST as well. They mm-hmm. kind of lost me when they started to do that weird romance thing between I'm, Chief and Cortana. I'm that not, was weird. I'm not really interested in the story of Halo anymore, but I am interested in the single player campaign. Yeah. Uh, but after all this. They're still bangers. They didn't show any gameplay. Kind of. they, didn't show any, yeah. they didn't show any gameplay of it. No. Um, they just. Well, multiplayer. Well, I'm about not to get campaign. to that. Campaign wise, they didn't show any gameplay. They just showed like a, a story tease. No date. No. No date. No, uh uh-uh. And multiplayer... Holiday 21 is what they said. And multiplayer... Actually, I don't even know... Did they say it? They said Holiday 21. Okay, I was going to say... They did say it. No specific date, Mm -hmm. but releasing separately is a Mm free-to-play multiplayer Multiplayer. mode for Infinite. I I don't know how I feel about it, because the multiplayer is releasing first. Do you smell transactions? I smell transactions. Oh, yeah, I saw the samurai armor. They have to. 
The bad thing is that you know that they are going to have some really cool cosmetics mm-hmm. and stuff. They they wouldn't be able but to turn a profit. I am so right. turned off by games like Fortnite and Rocket League. It's the guy from Fortnite. Because I went back and I looked to see how much. Remember the Fast and the Furious pack? Yeah. Yeah. Is, I bought it for four dollars. Back it's twenty bucks. I, I bought it for like three or four dollars. I bet it's twenty bucks. To twenty five dollars <laughs> for for. Three cars, three cars. Out of your mind. Three cars. I mean, they, it, some some uh, some anthems, like some score anthems, a title yeah. card, which is free, and uh, something that I don't have that came with my pack. And I don't get the uh, Pontiac the Fiero, Pontiac, yeah. but I also don't get the, you can get the black Charger skin and the uh, original Skyline skin, yeah. but you have to pay like a dollar each for those. Right. Which I don't know if that's enough for me to shell out that cash. Mm-hmm. But I, I did have some extra money in my account, and I went and got the uh, the player the uh, the score music. Mm-hmm. It's the Tokyo Drip song. Okay, <laughs> that's, kind of that's worth it. Yeah. That's worth a dollar. Sure. <laughs> I'll buy that for a dollar. Worth a dollar. Um, that was gold. I, look, I, I was looking at, it, I was like, okay, cool, hey, Halo. But at hey. the end of the day, I was like, Halo. It, it's it's well, just Halo. They they showed a sizzle reel, but they did not show. A gameplay simulation of it. No. Yeah. Uh, so we don't know if are there loadouts. We don't know if there's like Halo Four style yeah, loadouts. Right. Is it, more, is it Wait, still is like it, Call of Duty is loadouts? It, is it more like Halo One, Two, and Three, or is it more like Four, Five, and Six? I don't know. Yeah. That they was a big turn off for the later Halo games for me. Is that it felt more like Call of Duty than I thought I would like that. Man. One time I was too. I was at Hard Rock that's, Cafe. That's what, that's what that's what made Halo unique. I was in Hard Rock Cafe one time Sorry. in San Antonio, Texas, and I was eating my San ham- Antonio. I was eating my hamburger and I looked up at the TV and I saw some esports on the TV. Yeah, yeah. And I thought it was Call of Duty, and then I looked a little bit closer and realized that it was Halo Five. That's when I knew. <laughs> it, 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 you yeah. saw Saucier down there in San Antonio. I used to be a Saucier back in San Antonio. They're going to kill Master Chief. Master Chief's been dead to me for a while. Uh, anyways, um, Diablo 2 Resurrected, 932. This is a Jacob game. Looks like Diablo 2. It's coming 2. out for everything. Give it to me. Looks, looks like Diablo 2. Give it to me. Looks like a up, look, it looks like a, it if looks, it was made today. Looks good. Yeah, it looks good. Uh, uh, that's going to be day one for me. Right? Instantly. Sure. Um, Plague Tale Requiem. Uh, I can't freaking talk. Requiem. You, you Requiem. Requiem. For a little Requiem. Bit. Take over no, no, I got it. I'm Requiem, good. Johnny. I, just I just can't talk. This is that rat game. Rat game. <laughs> The rat game. The rat <laughs> you were pack. talking about Jake. You go get that rat game. Like, what are y'all talking rat about? Rat game too. The rat pack. Uh, the little bit that I played is cool. It's got a little bit of stealth, and but I, I don't know enough that. We're taking, kind of scary we're looking, taking the bro. fight to the rats this time. <laughs> 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 but I don't know. I feel like the boys got a connection to the rats. Like I don't know. It's weird. Rat uh, man. They, got, they kind of get into yeah, rat. Rat. Yeah, he's rat man. No 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 no. Rat granny. Inside joke. Um, <laughs> I'm broken. <laughs> <laughs> just sti- just rat-, rat granny, everyone. Rat granny. Rat granny. <laughs> My son robbed the bank! <laughs> uh, Far Cry, they, 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 they showed some more Far Cry 6 stuff. Uh, Slime Rancher 2, never played the first one. Looks fun. Looks fun. Uh, this was that, as Mark mentioned, Snowboard. Shredders. Shredders. This looks, I don't know. Yeah. It just looks like a generic it lo- snowboarding it looks, game. It looks Give like me SSX it. Tricky. Yes. Yes. Yes, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> I I do think it looks like it could possibly control. The thing about Riders Republic that I'm, I'm not looking forward to it's is the trick controls. Arcane. Because I didn't like the trick controls of Steep, Steep. but this looks like it would be because oh, because intricate. it's specifically snowboarding. They yeah. can dedicate more time to developing it. So sure. I'm not gonna poo poo on it just just yet. Yeah, yeah. December 21st. Um, Atomic Heart. I didn't write notes about that. It's it was a quick trailer. It was more like this guy's like bionic, and I don't know. Yo, I don't know what's going on in this game, but it's like they were trying to. It reminded me of Hardcore Harry minus the. No, it looked like Sucker Punch. Okay, it looked like it looked like Sucker Punch on acid at a. Tiki Luau. I don't know how else to explain it. This game looks weird, dude. It's uh, like, it, like you, look, you see a game that looks weird, but you can still be like, like play it and be interested. Yeah. This looks like it, it is just looks weird. too weird. This must have been a part where my ADHD was just. It's like, like, it's, like this, off. it's like this weird uh, Russian. Because I don't remember yeah. none of this. Yeah. I don't know. How, I can't. I, I couldn't tell you what I literally going could on. not explain it to you. Wait. Wait. Oh, that's <laughs> I could not explain it. That's what you think about that. Yeah. Uh, replaced is a two D action adventure game. That's the one. It was they did the interesting thing a lot. There's I noticed there's a there's a trending thing with two D whether it's RPG or, or platforming two D three D. Yeah. Uh, is this that like cyberpunky looking thing? Yeah, and like the yeah. camera would like shake when you're fighting. That's kind of kind of cool looking. Looks cool. Interesting. Oh, it's probably better than Cyberpunk 2077. 
Yes. Probably. 22, get day one game pass. Uh, you, ground, said, you said Cyberpunk. Wait, 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 wait. Grounded. The Shroom and Doom. The Shroom and Doom. <laughs> <laughs> this is right up my alley, boys. Uh, so, <laughs> there's actually been some updates on this game. So, Grounded is that Honey, I Shrunk the Kid mm-hmm. style yeah. survival game. Yep. Uh, With me. the arachnophobia uh, uh, sensor mm-hmm. where you can turn spiders into polygons. Me with good reason because they're terrifying in that yeah, game. I don't yeah. play them. Uh, but me and Seth played this game pretty heavily. For I wanted a while. to call it. That's really cool. Um, yeah, but I, I think that I so they've added some things sure. since the last time I played, including like flying mm-hmm. enemies such as bees and like birds and there's fish in the water now, yeah. all that stuff. Um, but now they're adding so crafting? Uh, just general quality of life stuff like being able to sit down in chairs and crafting recipes. The mushrooms you can actually use the as a building resource. Because before all you had was blades of grass and then the weeds. You could cut down the weeds. But the weeds were so sparse, you really didn't have a whole lot of material to work with. And it, hard. it grew back eventually. It's, it's hard to find good weed out there. Uh, yeah, uh, unfortunately. Uh, yeah, that's the case. But with <laughs> with this, you'll be able to use mushrooms. And the mushroom building material looks more like bricks. And it's kind of cool looking. Okay. It's cool. It's I, I think it looks, it looks fun. And also they have achievements now. So that's yeah, yeah I saw that. Yeah, that was pretty neat. That game's a lot of fun. I, as I, lo- that, I really love the aesthetic of that game. As yeah, silly, it's, as it's, silly such a great, it's a great concept. As, oh, yeah. Your little AI watch looks like a, a VTech toy. Oh, uh, really? What? Yeah. Yeah, that's you know, pretty you cool. Yeah, 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 no, yeah. I, I, I never. And then, got like, to... you meet this little robot guy who looks like a V Tech toy from the eighties. Wow. As silly as this sounds, this is one, another one of those games. It's in the in the Game Pass library. I'm like, it adds to that fuel, that coal to add the fire for having an Xbox. So, yeah. Um, they just did more Among Us, which we already kind of saw that at, yeah. at the Games Fest. Among Us. Um, Among Us. Uh, and how's it coming to Xbox? Yeah. You want to try to pronounce that one? Um, Let me see. I, I, you didn't Let me see. Chronicle. Yeah. Ayudin. 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 It's a it's a very Octopath Traveler it looks, looking. It looks like that Dragon Quest uh, HD remake. <laughs> Sometimes HD. I gotta be honest. I gotta be honest, man. Um, I feel like there are way too many ripoffs now. Well, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Octopath Traveler started a trend. Yeah. Uh, this is actually a Kickstarter game. Yes. From some of the old devs of Suikoden. Mm-hmm. And Suikoden is a very beloved franchise that just doesn't exist anymore. Yeah. Or at least not how some people want it. And um, this is actually it's, this is a big deal because it's coming to a console. Yeah, it's going to Xbox. And that's why it's a big deal. And it looks fun. And then there all, there's also basically a uh, action-oriented version of that game. I just... Which is the... Um, the the I, I don't know how to say it. I'm going to say eucalyptus because I don't know how to say it. But, <laughs> but, I, mean, a, I, mean, I mean, eucalyptus but tree. But it's, it's the Ayudin Ayu, Chronicle Rising. Mm-hmm. It's uh-huh. more of a hack-and-slash game. Okay. But also in the same For graphic style. I can get behind that. For so it looks cool. I mean, hey, it's... It's like JRPG representation on the Xbox, yeah. Yeah. and it needs it. it. That's, so, that, it just, yes, I agree. Yeah, with that. I agree with you there. Definitely, there needs some more JRPGs. But I mean, I don't know. And maybe, maybe I just I need to be a little more open minded. But it just it looked like Octopath Traveler, and then I just feel like there's way too many copycat. Well, I think the camera there. work in that looked really cool with yes. the battle yeah. system. It's because it, with Octopath Traveler, it's just kind of like yeah. a. Uh, an over screen, kind of like a, a Final Fantasy battle screen, but this is like you saw how like it was kind of going through like this parallaxed, like 3D. Almost, it almost yeah. looks hack and slashy. It, it was really cool looking. Yeah. Um, the Ascent. It's a it's July 29th. It's a Future Tech laser, lasers dungeon crawler. It's not really much to talk about. Uh, it didn't really show much other than that. Age of Empires 4 is coming October 28th. Um, that looks like a really fun game. I love, I love the yeah. Age of Empires games. And, I mean, and, and this one looks really cool. There's a that's that's kind of like that that cult following. There's a lot of people that love yeah. the, the civilizations in the Age of Empires. So, yeah. um, then this is where the Outer Worlds two came in. It was it was funny enough. Trailer. A very a very self aware comical making fun of the industry trailer. Yes, uh, yeah. but basically it's all, it literally it said all that just to say hey we're making this game. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> to which I say, okay. sure, sure, sure. The other one, the first one was okay. It's okay. Uh, Microsoft right Flight Sim. Microsoft Flight Sim is on console July 25th. Yo, yo. Me and Seth were bam, watching it. I heard the... Yeah. Just the, yeah. Just the, bell. the bell. I was like, I was like, yo, Top Gun! Yeah. And it's so funny because... It hit me too. It's so basically, it's like you can fly the, the jets from the movie. The, F- the F-18. But it's Tom funny Cats. because like at the very end it says like, Microsoft Flight Simulator coming to Xbox yeah, Maverick, on, on this Maverick, day. Top Gun. <laughs> and it says Top Gun and it says, see the movie. Yeah. <laughs> Which is not I, how you uh, saw Pete, said Pete Mitchell it on ca- the side It caught me off guard too because I was just like, what, what are they adding? What could they possibly add to this game? Because they've already got the whole freaking world. Yeah, you could. I <laughs> right. mean, you could go hurricane hunting right now. If, but I, now if I fired it up, you go hunt a hurricane. But now you can do it in a jet. And then they they hit you with that music that 
that when when like Brandon said when that when that so, bell hit, I, just I was with, like I was like, oh, I'm just coming to the realization. I stop gun. I just coming to the realization that uh, there's a, quite a few like Hollywood crossovers in this Microsoft there presentation. There was. There was. Yeah. Um. So look, I'm not a I'm not a big fan of the series, but for uh, Forza Horizon Five. Hey, that that looks I, really good. I wasn't interested until they started doing like the wacky stuff in the end. Yeah, still not interested, stuff. but I think it looks like a lot of fun, especially being able to drive around. Yeah. and um, like all the social stuff. Yes, yeah. that that's what that's what's got me. November 9th. and that game's beautiful. That's yeah, a nice. Let's talk game. about that. Yes, that game looks really that, good. That that game sure is party. Uh, Spiel Fencer came out. Uh, no, Phil Spencer came out and talked more stuff about Game Pass. And then he said, uh, "Hey, we're making Elder Scrolls Six, and we're also making um, what's that other game that was missing? Something else was missing. I don't know. But he's like, he's like, yeah, we're working on Elder Scrolls Six. And then we have one more thing. And he's like, yeah, we got one more thing from Arcane. Arcane. One of Steve's favorites. Yeah, uh, actually. Redfall. Redfall. Now look, Redfall looks dope, but we don't. But we technically don't know what it is. Yeah, yeah. It's it's still, just a trailer. Super hype. Uh, but it, it it looks like a kind of a Left for Dead. I'm gonna say style. four player co op. Everyone's it, got special powers. It seems Vampire to me hunters. it's not so much like uh, it, it's like Left for Dead versus mode. In my opinion, it's yeah, I, yeah. I think I think calling it like Left for Dead is a little more. But this is Arcane. Arcane yeah. does some really unique stuff, oh, yeah. especially with the characters. It's like and... it's like I'm sure there's going to be cannon, cannon fodder enemies, but like your primary concern it's is going to be boss, be boss battles. Your primary concern is going to be the. It other looks vampires. like a lot of fun, but whenever I saw it, I, I, I like I said, I think it was great. I'm not poo-pooing by saying this, but I was like, man, we seen a lot of like Left for Dead stand-ins. Yeah. Like I yep. think it's because it's a genre that has where nothing is, in it. Where is yeah. Left for Dead? So it has been Left for Dead. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, that's pretty- you saw, wait, 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 you saw a lot of genre? Genre? I, I, yeah, that genre is dead. The, 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 um, the like you said, the good. way that uh, Arcane is really great, like with his honor, with that, that almost supernatural, uh, spectral kind of powers that you have, like, yeah. the girl did, like, the, those, those spectral bullets, she yeah. was shink, shink, that, shink, shink, and really she had, like, cool. the elevator and shot the guy yeah, out, that was yeah. pretty cool. And the guy could go teleport, the and sniper eye yeah. guy, ghost eye, yeah. Yeah. so, yeah. I think, you know, doing, and then that one dude who's just, like, generic, Generic nerd guy, old, help out old white man. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so. By the way, in Back for Blood, there's a guy who looks like Dan Aykroyd. I call a dibs. <laughs> <laughs> I got the girl, I guess. <laughs> there's plenty of them in there. Uh, anyways. Um, well, we but, knew that, Jacob. Uh, but summer of 22, and we don't know anything. This will probably be... Also kind of a, a far throw. Far throw, right. Um, but I would say, you know what's... And what's sad is... We know a little bit more, despite based off the trailer, than we do Starfield. But I'm more excited about this game than I am about Starfield. Agreed. So speaking of, what are we? What are we? The idea of Starfield blows my mind. But yes. They showed us more. It's here. vague. They showed us more here, and we have a better idea of what that game is. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then so, they were like, "Oh, by the way, it's exclusive." This is a good. Yeah. Con- this is a really good conference. And then, uh, and then, old it boy, was. old boy came out. Um, was like, "Hey, I'm sorry, it's exclusive." And then Tom Howard was like, "I'm not." <laughs> yeah, Pete, well, Pete, Pete Hines. Hines. Pete Hines. That's he's, his job. He's a PR yeah. guy. Yeah. Yeah. Pete that, Hines. Pete Hines is like, "I'm sorry. I know y'all guys must be disappointed." Hey, I, and I, Tom I almost, Howard's like, "I'm I pretty not." Pretty much <laughs> brushed shoulders with that guy in the hallway really? at E3. Like you know, you know, right? tall. No. I feel. <laughs> I, I. You know. I could have sworn I ran into him. Okay. I could have sworn I ran into him at the airport. Like right after E3. Because, I remember you talking about this. Because when you were at E3, we were in uh, Utah, and oh. we were leaving. We were on our way out, like right as E3 was ending. I'm pretty sure I'll be there. I have no idea. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and say my my favorite would probably be Redfall. I think just because the I again the, we don't know what it uh, is, yeah. but I, the concept has got. I would say that my. I would say Redfall too. I'd say Redfall is probably my most interested. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna say contraband. contraband. Yeah, I'm gonna yeah. say, I was gonna say. I would contraband. say contraband is probably my I'm most interested in. Uh, I, I would like to say Sea of Thieves, but at the end of the day, it's just more Sea of Thieves. More yeah, sea of Thieves. I would have said Sea of Thieves too, but Sea of Thieves is just. I mean, if I had to rank it in the entire conference, I'd probably say Sea of Thieves is like third or fourth overall. But I mean, like I'm talking about like. If we're talking about anticipated yeah, games. I think contraband. Yeah, contraband. I would say contraband, contraband, contraband. Got the, contraband, got the, contraband. Got the contraband. I would say oh, I Stalker punch, 2 is probably, and then I actually Somerville is yeah, got my it eyes. Look, it is a really cool. Um, they that, showed a lot of really good stuff here. They Nothing did. that blew my soul away. Again. But right. there was a lot of stuff. I mean, it just took us 30 minutes really to talk about it. really a whole about, lot of so. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think I give it, I give it a, I give it an A. 
Sure. I, I, not an A plus, but I, I, I'll give it an A. I'll give it an A. Yeah. I think it was a I'll solid. I'll give it an A minus. A, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll say A minus. It was a solid show. Mm-hmm. Solid show. So the next one was short, but they, they did release some big some, some big surprises. Square Enix. Square Enix. Here's a complaint. Okay. We saw Get more about Marvel games in this than we saw anything like uh, you would expect from Square. Right, right exactly. Final Fantasy stuff. They not... started off with Guardians of the Galaxy. Which I'm hyped for. Look, I want to say this right now. This is the biggest surprise to me of E3 yeah. because I had no idea this existed. It's not top three. It's there was not top three for me. Three. There was a rumor going around. This game looks really it's good. You play as Star Lord. You kind of command the other. Yeah, it's Guardians. not. It's not a Marvel Avengers copycat. No, 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 it's, no. it's all Thank different God. game. It's like it, it's like a Devil May Cry. I was gonna say meets with, Final Fantasy sprinkled with some Final Fantasy VII remake yes. with some kind of like extra shooter stuff in mm-hmm. there. And some Marvel, and just and take, now you've got a gumbo. Look, no, and, and, and the main, the, the, the main, That's just the root. The the, the 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 seasoning is that just Guardians of the Galaxy, stupid licensed music, licensed music. Uh, uh, he, I need a hero. It starts playing at the yeah. beginning. Oh yeah. my gosh! Did, give me this game. Did you yeah. see? If they didn't have the licensed music, I'd have been a little. I'd have been yeah. reluctant did to get it. Did you see where, like, every time it showed gameplay, it said licensed music has been replaced? Yeah. And did you see where, whenever he does his ultimate move, he plays his yeah his, his, cassette, his cassette player, and then the music plays yes. and he goes wild like uh, Bad Reputation was playing. Mm-hmm. He's going, he's going crazy shooting yeah, things. Yeah. <laughs> now look, this game does look. Incredible, but I gotta complain a little okay. bit. Go ahead. Go ahead. They yeah. showed it for way too long. Yeah, oh, I agree. Yeah, it, they it, showed it, it for agree. twenty minutes yeah, yeah. on a forty-minute show. Well, I want to say this I, because, like, these are some biggish things. It went way too. But long. I think that since this was their banger, that they, they're surprised. They just that was their baby. Yeah. They did some pretty cool stuff. I don't know if you talked when they when they talked about with the editors. Well, when we go when and we the developers. Yeah, 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 they did. Yeah, they and did. The, one of the developers like was was then they had they had brought Marvel in to show them the, the, the hey this is what this is what our this, this is what I love our, the story behind our this vision of what these characters look like yeah. and they were quiet for like the first minute and they were like, like oh, oh no. god they hate oh it. no they hate and it. then they were like bro you guys nailed it this is so what here's the thing yeah. some people no matter like okay the the MCU the the movies sure. have created a new. Uh, breed of, of of people who enjoy yeah yeah nerd culture yeah and so when they see this game they're like that doesn't look like Chris that's Pratt. Not everybody keeps thinking like or that that why is Rocket looks so weird why is Groot this looks is so the weird? great value version yeah. of the Guardians but they don't film. realize that this is a more I mean look I'm, I'm not like a big comic book guy but this is a more comic book accurate yeah that pulls from that lore more and it shouldn't really be it shouldn't really be a carbon copy of either of either the comics it's, or the uh, yeah, or that, the that, movie it's, it's gotta be its own interpretation see, that's the cool thing about what comic book stuff used yeah. to be is that before the MCU came and just kind of like I don't want to say whitewashed is not the right word but like they made it vanilla they made vanilla it vanilla washed like they, yeah. everything here they're able to do things like make people just way more interesting and, and behave differently mm-hmm. like they they can have their own I mean everybody needs it. to look different like remember I mean, how different like Batman Beyond looked from yeah. Batman animated series yeah. like Batman looks so different look at the way Batman things. looks in, yeah. in between even now, every iteration yeah, even now yeah. DC does a good job of like yeah. making all their stuff I'll, pretty, and, pretty and, different and you know I think, I think that you know you need to encourage that so that it separates itself you don't want Any you don't want you don't want yeah. uh, exactly you don't want uh, Peter Quill looking like Chris Pratt in every instance of the thing because it's going to be dude, stale. Dude, so, yeah, well, Star Lord looks different, way different. No, no, no. Really what I want to say yeah. is, like, what, what, compared to Avengers, right? When they, when Avengers came out, everybody's like, well, these look nothing like, uh, you know, Robert Downey or Chris Hemsworth. But they, the, I think the what they tried that to, game was they tried to I, exactly. That's what they, I was going to say. Like, they, yeah, they like, they were this is the great, great value. This version. is the great value, Chris Chris uh, Evans. But this is like their own take. Exactly, their own take on That's the what MCU. They should have done. But then the actual comics. Like, Drax yeah. looks more like the comic book think, Drax than yeah. it does. I think this looks good. Choices you can make in the game. Yeah, yeah throw, it's throw like, rock in or don't throw it's rock a, Yeah, it's almost like Telltale. Like, <laughs> like, right. Like, yeah, like, hey, I love that. I love like, that. Like, like the whole, like, a hey, rocket raccoon will remember this. You know, like, yeah. And Perfect. I wonder how that affects the story further mm-hmm. down the road. I, and I, there's so much potential story-wise and gameplay-wise. There was a little part where, like, it kind of started to chug frame rate Yeah, wise. yeah, I saw that. I'm sure they'll fix that. Yeah. But I think it looks like a great game. I just it think does. they showed it for too long. They do. Uh, and guess when it comes out? October 22nd. <laughs> so I'm getting Battlefield, and then I'm getting Marvel. So I need to start Signing or saving up now. Excuse me too. Uh, wait, isn't Back for Blood in October? Oh, yeah, crap. Back um, for Blood, and then and then uh, some other games. Uh, right? yeah, yeah, we're talking about we're it. some other games. Uh, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so then they went into some smaller things that. after that. They went into the Final we're Fantasy uh, Pixel Remaster for the Steam and for mobile. No one knows what this is. Yeah. 
and they better not screw it up is all I'm going to say. What is it again? It's a, it's a lot of the, the older Final Fantasies that have been oh, yeah. 1 through 6. I mean, that's cool. They're supposed to remaster 1 through 6. For Steam and for, for, the, for your phone. For Steam and mobile, and they've done it before, and they've screwed it up, so we'll see. I was excited, and then I saw 4 mobile, and I was like, mm. uh, Legend of, Legend of mm. Mana, June 24th for the Switch, PS4, and Steam. That looks good. Yeah, dude. Uh, Marvels, they went over Marvel's Avengers and they went over their battle, their uh, season pass plans with all the updates. They're trying, Black, man. Their Black Panther. I'm excited for the Black Panther. It does. Yes, it looks that good. Stuff looks good. So I will say this, though. I think we had that same, going back to the issue with the uh, with the um, Avengers, how they look like the Great Value versions. I think they're trying a little too hard to make them look like, make the characters look like the MCU versions. Like, I think like, they've what's, been... What's this? Oh, God, I feel awful. Chadwick like Boseman. Yeah. No, uh, Black, T'Challa's sister. I don't know her name. Sherry. 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 Sherry looks just like Sherry from the MCU. Yeah, I, that, yes. and she's on a similar little keyboard. Exactly. Thing. I think they need to be careful with that. I think I think that's this is just an issue because this ball was set in motion. They started rolling yeah. this ball down up a hill yeah. so long ago it's too late. Yeah. But I do agree. It does that's it just why why we're so excited for Guardians is like mm-hmm. the exact opposite of why I yeah. like this because Marvel's when Avengers. When you try looks, too hard to make them look like uh, particular reiterations of it instead of taking your own spin on it, you get the comparisons to the Great Value game. Right? Yeah, I mean, just take great your, value, great value Avengers. Well, yeah. speaking with people that are in that community that are big fans of the, especially the online play, and are constantly playing this game. Uh, the, the they problem, have those. Yeah, yeah. There's there's a community to it. It's, it's small, but it's out there. It's a good um, game. But yeah. the problem is, is the way I mean, Square. Good, I don't doubt it. It's just, just a really, yeah. really. Really repetitive game. I don't doubt that it's a good game. It's just that even like y'all know how I love World of Warcraft, but even World of Warcraft has its moments where it's like, okay, I'm tired of doing this. Well, the, the, sorry, oh, the yeah. thing the thing that people are upset about is that Square promised the the speed at which they will release new heroes. Yeah. Like Spider Man was supposed to be, a, hey, it's only where is Spider Man? We don't know. And so like, and then they released uh, Hawkeye's daughter. I can't think of her name. And then Hawkeye. Sure. Now it worked because Kate of the the, the, the um, I forget what the name of it. It's one where they go back in time and it's the alternate reality where yeah. Hulk's taking over everything. Yeah. And I get why they did it, but like the heroes are slow, so that's why Black Panther is a big deal. They're adding some variety. They're adding Black Panther, who's going to play pretty uniquely oh, yeah. compared to yeah. some of these Yeah, which would be characters. cool because the way his, his suit yeah. works and charges It's just, up I'm and... more excited. I, I mean, Black Panther and, and the Wakanda campaign looks really cool, but I'm more excited they're just adding more variety. Yeah. yeah, I agree. So, um, anyways, they went. They, they saw some more about Babylon's Fall. We still kind of don't know what it is. We know it's a four-player co-op or single-player. It comes from PlayStation 4 or 5 or PC. But uh, it's just a generic... Co-op fantasy RPG. It looked like near a little bit. A little yeah. bit. Well, I think it's the team that did near. No. Was it not? I, I think, think so. A, yeah. Near does not ring my bell. No, it doesn't. Their comments, it just doesn't hit with me. Um, they they talked about Life is Strange, the remaster collection, and Life is Strange: True Colors, September thirtieth to September tenth. And then they ended with, we finally got that it's this confirmed. If you want to talk on this, you can. Stranger of I'll Paradise, save, Final Fantasy. I played Origin. the demo. I played the demo. I'll, Ninja. I'll save it for next time because okay. I have a lot to say about it. Yeah. yeah. But everybody is like poo pooing on it because the main character looks really generic, and then the trailer. It was not a good trailer. It was not a good no, trailer. No, it was not. Did it. you guys? Did you guys see Donkey's video? On the it? guy. No, I did not. Oh my god. The guy just keeps I talking. Must kill about, chaos. He's I, a, it's just chaos. I need to kill. I have one goal. It's, it's way to too. It, it's way too edge lordy. Yeah. The environment. I'm only here to kill chaos. The environments look really dull and muted. <laughs> yeah. Chaotic. And the gameplay, and you know, I, like I said, I'll talk about my experience with the demo maybe next time. But I did play the demo, uh-huh. and it's everything that I thought it was going to be. Whether that's a good thing or not, stay tuned yeah. for the next episode because we're, just, we're, running, we're going to be running long. I just have one thing to say, and then I'll end it. But sure. um, I'm just here to kill chaos. chaos. <laughs> and, then, right. and then Garland's like, I'm not Garland. I'm, I'm chaos. 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 It's like Shadow the Hedgehog needed to show up and be like, Chaos. chaos. <laughs> Did somebody say chaos? <laughs> it's, uh, man, it's, that's go go watch go watch Donkey Z three. Okay, okay, it's hilarious. Right. That, that one right there. Do is we hilarious. need? Is there anything the we need to talk trailer, about? But I'm sure Warner Bros. Good. Did Warner Bros. show up? This, these are some places uh, where. No, okay. Blood. Uh, yeah, PC Gaming one. Show, Future Gaming Show, Take Two, uh, Capcom. <laughs> Me and Brandon sat through the PC Gaming Show thinking that there was going to be none. There was none. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah Brandon. 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 Steve. I was already punished. You must be punished. Steve, you gotta be punished. All right. I'm, I'm already punished. I sat so, through it. So let's, 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 let's hash this out. Can't do anything Wait, worse than next? Let's hash it out. That's all that's left is Nintendo Direct. Oh, can I take the lead on this one? Yeah. Oh, man. Nintendo Direct. Y'all about to see me do some serious backpedaling, guys. I'm just letting y'all know. Nintendo Direct 
we knew we knew that there was going to be a Smash Bros. character. Mm-hmm. We knew that we were going to see some new stuff. Mm-hmm. We, we haven't seen a lot from Nintendo. So starting off with the Smash character reveal, we've got Kazuya from Tekken. 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 Mm-hmm. From Tekken fighting game. Okay. This, I, think <laughs> I that, love Tekken fighting game. While this might it's not good. be the character that some of us wanted. Yes. I think he's a great pick. Oh, I'm sure. not against it at all. I think it's a great pick. No. He's gonna fit right in. Yep. Uh, and I'm glad that they picked Kazuya specifically. Yeah, now not, look, not, I don't know. Name? I don't no, play no. a lot of Tekken. Me neither. I'm not the biggest Tekken fan, but I do know the Mishima family storyline, mm-hmm. and I would much rather play as Kazuya than Haichi or Hai 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 I don't know. Hai Hai Chi. All these people, and you know, I'm just like. But Kazu, all you know, you know who Hai Hai is, right? Nope. Yes, the guy with the crazy hair. Yeah, so I mean, I know that. Yeah. Everyone old, knows who old, he is. Old dude. Old ooh, man. Ooh, ooh, I know that guy from Tekken 7, uh, Negan from Walking Dead. <laughs> Kazuya is his son. Yeah. And he has what's called the devil gene. And he can transform into basically I devil form. Fun. I was going to ask, did they, did, they re- did they release how you activate that? Or is it just no, input? No, no. Okay. Uh, they have not said anything. It might I be, imagine it's going to be something similar to so one So it might be a damage-based counter, or it might be something to charge. Like Arsene, because like, when I first saw Joker, I was like, eh. But like, when I played Joker, I was like, ooh. Now, he is going to be, he's going to play like a Tekken character. He's yeah. going to have a lot of like crazy See, input. that's where I'm kind of like, I hope they have the combos for him. That's cool. I'm, I'm not, never going to be able to do that. Yeah, I'm never going to be able to He had a 10 string combo that you can that do. That was really yeah. cool. I'm not going to be able to do that. That's what I'm saying. And by the way, his trailer, his trailer, all right, so whenever it, it popped off right, it, it goes from a black screen and it shows Ganondorf being carried by him. Right. He's now, dead. I knew. <laughs> He's dead. <laughs> I, as soon as they showed him approach a, cli- uh, approach a cliff with um, lava at the bottom, I knew it was Kazuya. Or I, I thought it was ha- uh, either oh, him or Haichi. I had ha- no idea. Him or Haichi, because yeah, that's yeah. the story, is Haichi tried to kill Kazuya to prevent the devil gene by casting him from a mountain. Ah. And then Kazuya grows up because he didn't die because he has the devil gene and he survived the fall. So he beats his dad and throws him not off. He, he casts him off the same mountain, but then he throws him into a um, uh, Haichi comes back and throws him in a yeah. volcano. Okay. I think it's and cool so, that they like went through so he, with like all these. Yeah, he's beating them. He's just throwing all these people yeah. in the volcano. Yeah, Ganondorf, Captain Falcon, and at the, the very end, he, throws Kirby. he and then, throws Kirby, and then Kirby just floats off. What, you know what's funny? What somebody, Kirby never dies. I said this nope. to you. I said this to you. Um, somebody tweeted right before. They're just like, uh, the only way Nintendo's going to screw this up is if they sacrifice Captain Falcon on stage. And lo and behold, here's yeah, they throw him <laughs> off. Haichi throwing uh, it's Kazuya. Kazuya, sorry, I don't, I don't know these people. Um, throw again, throwing freaking Captain Falcon off the cliff, and they're uh, like, "Oh, that uh, happened." Here's what, here's all we need to know, right? It's Kazuya. It's from Tekken. He, he's going to be developed and um, he's going to be made with love mm-hmm. from Sakurai and mm-hmm. the gang because every character they make, whether we like him or not, represents their their game yep. very well, mm-hmm. and they play like they should. I hope Sakurai's taking him a nice I, little break. Just for just for a Jacob <laughs> personal thing, man. I've just never been good at those button input guys like the Street Fighter, the Kings, yeah. and the Reus, the, uh, Ter- the Terry Bogart. I like accidentally yeah, put in I'm somebody. Just not, I'm just not good at them. I appreciate them, okay. and I respect them, but I'm just not good at them. Oh, yeah, man. when I play more Terry Bogard is a, like if I'm playing one on one. You haven't played him in a while. I know he's really good. I when I play that. Mortal Kombat, I'm, <laughs> <laughs> you're in trouble now. I, I don't like playing him in uh, for uh, free for all. Um, you want to move on from that? Oh yeah, so uh, we saw Life is Strange: True Colors, which we saw previously. Uh-huh. Uh, Guardians that, of the Galaxy is coming to the Switch, yeah. which that's a big deal. That's a I, surprise. Mm-hmm. That's a that that game looks really good, and I want I, I want to see how it performs on the Switch. Uh, Worms Rumble looks like a Worms game. <laughs> if you uh, if you get on the Switch, uh, you get access to a costume first mm-hmm. for like a couple days. Who cares? Uh, Astria Ascending. What was this? I can't turn based it. RPG. It's just a turn based JRPG kind of looking game. I'm trying to think. Uh, it looked interesting enough. I can't I, remember. Maybe not. Maybe not. There's another one here. Now this is one of the ones I had to watch while I was at work, so uh, yeah. I missed some of this. You have to remind yeah. me. Uh, Two Point Campus. Look, didn't we talk about this? We talked uh, about it. The, they just uh, said that it was coming to the Switch. Okay. They didn't say that in the, in the Steam uh, the uh, Summerfest. Um, I like this game. I know it, Peter Molyneux is involved in it, but like... It does look kind of fun. It looks like a good it's, sim. It's like Sim City, it's, but uh, with, more like... Uh, involved with your with your, your less city, Less city and more stuff involved it's social, in the... Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Super Monkey Ball is celebrating its 20th anniversary? I think so. Wow, wait, man. Banana Mania. Uh, look, Monkey Ball's never been my thing, no. but this looks like a good Monkey man, Ball game. Let me tell you, though. Um, all that Ball. All that talk about the Donkey Kong 3D thing. Saw I saw them bananas. I saw them bananas. I was like, <gasps> <gasps> guys, this is it! And then uh, it's like... I, I didn't think I didn't think it was it because nah, they said nah, 20th anniversary. Nah, nah. October 5th. They said 20th anniversary. I knew it wouldn't. All right, here we go. Uh, ooh, Mario Party Superstars. I'm excited for this one. Don't sleep on this one. Do not. 
it is a best of the best cream yep. of the crop Nintendo 64 mini games and boards. One, One two mini games. One hundred mini games. Birthday cake, Space Land, or Peaches? Is it Peaches birthday cake? Or yeah, that's from. Now, one. Is there five boards total? Uh, they might. I don't remember. I remember them talking I about. I hope there's more than five. I hope boards. they bring Wario's Battle. <laughs> oh God! Oh, October 29th, Jesus. I hope that there's more than five boards, <laughs> but uh, they got some really Shoot good me. mini games. October's like, bleh, give in, me money, <laughs> including one of, the, <laughs> one of the best worst mini games of all time, Bowser's Big Blast. Screw that game. Screw that. I have, P- that game. I have PTSD. If you're playing Mario Party game. and you're not mad at your friends and you're not playing it right, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and then it goes. Ding! Ding. 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 Oh, Ding. Uh, yeah, that looks uh, that that's on the map. God, Yo, October's gonna suck. Yeah. Okay, and, then, and, then, and, then, and it's fully playable online. Online. Yes. 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 All right, and then right after that. Okay. Nintendo came and punched they, you in they, the mouth. They, they said, "Hey, look, we're working on Metro Prime Four. Yeah, we don't have anything. We can't. We can't, can't show, show you anything, anything right now. But here's something else that we're working on. My emotions went from down. To and they <laughs> showed Metroid Five, mm-hmm. also called Metroid Dread. Metroid. Which is a 2D side scroller, the first new, brand new original story in like what? in 20 years. Oh gosh! Since Fusion, that's crazy. this oh, is well, a wait, direct. Brandon, what about Metroid Other M? This is a no, 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 no. We're missing what <laughs> I'm saying. We don't talk about that. We don't this talk about that. This is the next story in the line of Samus. Yeah. And the last chapter for Samus in the Metroid saga. So not not just period not not saying there will never be another Metroid game but the Metroid saga from yeah. from Metroid One Super Metroid Metroid Two Return of Samus all that this is it's it's no, off. there's literally no more Metroids in there now here is why you might not know why this is such a big freaking deal is because Metroid Dread was a copyright claim or was made for this from Nintendo like um like you know like whenever they make trademarks and stuff yeah in two thousand. Late 2004, early 2004. Ooh, Ooh wow! Metroid Dread. I don't know if you remember. 20 years. And then they found... So there was just all this mystery about certain people with different publications. Like IGN said, I've seen you know the storyline of this game, yada, yada, yada. They're going to show it. Then they wouldn't show it. And they would show it. And they wouldn't show it. And then it disappeared. Years and years would go on, and then Metroid Prime 3 Corruption would come out. And if you use the visor scanner, you could find an Easter egg that would say, like, the Dread Project is complete. And everyone thought that Dread was coming back. It never did. Until this presentation is a real wow, thing. Wow, I didn't know all that. It's a real thing. And I so know the story because wow. you combine wow. the fact that wow. there's this long history with it and the fact that it's the last chapter in the Metroid saga for, for Samus, it's a direct sequel to Fusion, which makes it the first original brand new Metroid in almost 20 years. Yeah. This is a big deal. And it's scary looking. Dude, they got these, it, these tyrant type robots that yeah, chase you that you can't you, you can't, can't hurt them. them. You, you have to run from them. Oh, flowerhead! Because of course the name Dread is mm-hmm. is um, he's talking about Judge Dread. He comes and helps you. No, I'm kidding. Uh, it's about. <laughs> I am the law. It, I, <laughs> Uh, it's a, it's about how you know Samus is a bounty hunter. Right. She is the hunter, and now and how she is the now brain. she is the hunted. Yeah. And I think what's really cool is and really refreshing looking is that the environments look very very clean, yeah. very mm-hmm. sterile, yeah. and very I noticed, like I did notice that. a lot and less like caverns. It's not like yeah, it's not like Metroid Fusion where it's like yeah, you're on a spaceship, but the spaceship's kind of corrupted, Sterling. haunted, it's and there's goop Sterling. and nasty and parasites all over. This is like these clean-looking, aperture science-looking yeah. robots yeah. that are like crawling around. They're making those little weird noises. Yeah. Like, they chirp. They yeah. almost chirp. And, um, dude, I can't wait. I, I didn't watch the... I watched a little bit of the Treehouse gameplay, yeah. but, man, they're... It's, I think it's developed from the same people that did the 3DS game uh, where you have, like, the counters and stuff. Yeah. Close combat, you can slide underneath them and, like, run away. And those things crawl fast, too, man. Mm-hmm. And it looks super Super interesting. It, I'm really, really excited for this game. I, I just, I it never did. played them. I never played them. So let me tell you, I, I'm glad. I don't you, know if I. That's I'm, why I don't have the hype. For I'm glad. This. I'm glad you said this, and I have homework for you. Are you ready for some I homework? Don't play no, 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 no. Okay. Super Metroid. It's yeah, I have it on. on it's, I have it on my classic. It's yeah. on your classic. It's on your Switch. Play that game. Play I tried. It. Just. I just, play, just bounced off of it. Just play through it. Jacob, just play if, you through got it. To, if you got to, Jacob, use, use safe states. We just, won't judge just, you. Just play through it. Well, Brandon, I use safe states on the classic anyway. What are you talking about? Brandon, <laughs> Brandon may, but... Um, just... just no, I won't judge. But you have to play that game. Because this looks like such a big deal. Man. I just... I can't. I bounced off. I'll give it a shot. 
But look, I respect it and I appreciate everything you just Super said. Super Metroid is one of the best 2D side scrolling games of all time. Agreed. Mm. It is really good. And this is this Let me say is, something. this this has potential. Let me tell you something right now. I'm gonna say something that might be controversial to some people. I liked Metroid Fusion better than Super Metroid. That's a good game. Not for me. <laughs> I mean yeah. I like I like it. Yeah. But Metroid Fusion is way more linear. What, okay. what I really liked about Metroid Fusion was the the fear element. I did not get that fear element. They 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 went like full bore on the horror element. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The scary part about Super Metroid is the feeling of isolation. Yeah. Yeah. But and, and but being alone. so Metroid Fusion it wasn't so it, they weren't dynamic events like uh or where the what's the di- the dynamic event is like Mr X and and Resident right. Evil right dynamic means that it would happen. Yeah, just randomly. Randomly, yeah. okay. Yeah. It wasn't... And, and organically. The, SA, the SAX, basically, is Parasite Takes Control. Yeah, it's the, uh, the other, uh, the other Samus. Uh, Samus. Yeah. That, okay. was a, that was not a dynamic event like these new robots are in Dread. But you still had that fear, because it's like... Yeah. So I think I think we're assuming they're dynamic events. I'm not sure if they 100. percent I hope so. That, but it's got to be. It's yeah. got to be. Because it would be too much like Fusion if it wasn't. Yeah. Add to the October pile, October eighth. October eighth, but no, this is a big deal. Hey, Just Dance is coming oh, to the Switch. Hey, let me say something though. The amiibo, amiibos look sick. Oh yeah. yes, they do. Yes, yes they, they do. do. They do. Though. I would buy that just to get the amiibo. They man. do though. They, look, yeah. uh, they um, do though. Yeah, oh, sorry, Just Dance twenty. Just Dance coming to Switch. Come of course. To Switch. I, wonder what, I wonder what benefit they have. Cruising That's Blast, cool. which is an arcade exclusive cruising game, and you know. In the line of cruising USA, mm-hmm. cruising world, uh, this was like the next big one. Hey, you know what? If it was cheap, I'd buy it. It looks like a cheap yeah, game. Yeah, it does. It does. Yeah. But hey, I'm, I think cool it's cool. That they're doing it. Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. Uh, that is coming to Switch. Hey, that's a good game. I platinumed it. I enjoyed it. Yeah. Uh, I think it's a good game. You should play. If you like Dragon Ball Kakarot. Z, it's probably one of the more yeah. unique. Kakarot. It's like one of the more unique Dragon Ball that's games pretty to come cool. out. What's this? A new Power Awakens set? Is it? Is it like? That's like DLC stuff. stuff. That's what I thought. Yeah. Okay. September twenty twenty fourth. It's just. A, it's like a complete package. Gotcha. Mario Golf Super Rush, they showed some more of that. Basically this saying, looks hey, good. here's all the stuff you running already know. Running golf, running golf. And also, here's what you need to know, is that we're going to be continuously updating this game for free mm-hmm. over the course of its lifespan. That's really cool. So, And that comes out uh, pretty soon. Yeah, it's around the call. That's Friday, next Friday. June next 25th. Friday. Oh, oh wow. Uh, Monster Hunter Stories 2, we saw that earlier in yeah. uh, Capcom. Wings of Ruin, July 9th. Uh, oh, yeah, by the way, Capcom. There's a demo July 25th. We didn't talk about Capcom, but basically, this, I don't know if we said this or not on air, but they were like, hey, uh, Resident Evil 8, we're making DLC. Yeah. See you later. Here's here's Monster Hunter. Um, WarioWare. WarioWare, yeah. I get excited about this, because I never played this. Okay, WarioWare micro games. It's so fun. You they want, came back. They, look at these chumps. They came back. They came back. Uh, it, here's the thing about <laughs> WarioWare, is that... Um, it's, it's all about the micro games, and yeah. you wouldn't think that these games that take two seconds to play would be fun, but because uh, Wario, Wario's so cheap, he wanted to make a bunch of games. Yeah. Uh, he wanted to give you the most bang for your buck by giving you a million games, but he didn't tell you that they're like two seconds each. Yeah, and so that's just a joke. But now what's really cool is that you can choose all these different characters, and you play the same mini games, but you pick all these different characters that have different abilities, and you you use those abilities to achieve the same goals. Mm-hmm. And that's what's really interesting. It's like it's two you, player. You play as Wario. All right, so there's a, there's a tree with some apples on it. It says shake the apples off. You play as Wario, you have a jetpack, you just fly up and hit the apples. Or you might play as someone who throws ninja stars, and you throw the ninja stars and knock the apples. And so you can play as two different people, these two different characters, and achieve the same goals by utilizing different abilities. That's really cool. Because Very be- cool. before, it was just you played the same mini, same exact mini game. If you're if it said, hey, dodge the, bu- the giant hammer, or, or put the finger in the nose, you had the same exact controls, and you had the same way to achieve the same goal. Now, they make it to where you had to play differently. Yeah, that's that's interesting. It's really really cool. Kills kills a repetition. And, and uh, Mario Wear on the GameCube is a great party game. It so, really is. September tenth. Uh, Thank God it was not October. <laughs> I mean, it's the month before. Jeez. Yeah, anyway. um, that's, true. that's before let's your see, birthday. What else we got? We got Shin Megami Tensei Five. You might like that, Jacob. Yeah, yeah. I didn't Shaman know that, I didn't know that Persona spun off from this. Yeah, that's that's it's true. The same universe. You, you, you saw Jack Frost in there. Shin Megami Tensei. Yeah, you saw Jack Frost. You're like, what? Uh, yeah. But what's interesting about Shin Megami Tensei, if I'm not mistaken... Why are they using Persona games in this game? (laughs) If I'm not mistaken, uh, this is kind of a big deal. I don't know, because I'm not really a huge fan of this this, um, franchise. But uh, I think the last time they showed this game was at the very first time they ever had a direct for the Switch. Oh, which geez. Is, which is why it's a big deal. Yeah. And so it's it's going to be coming out November, November 5th. 4th, yeah. So that's kind of a big deal. Not for me. Not for necessarily. Might, might look at it. But hey, might if you need some it. Switch fuel, uh, Dragon Grandpa. Uh, <laughs> 
Dagon Rampa. Is that is that panda thing? That panda. Yeah, game. Dagon Rampa. That's all I know. Decadence. Uh, three games in the series. It's it's basically a murder mystery whodunit kind of like yeah. Among Us, but not Among Us. Yeah, it's coming on the Switch. Uh, Fatal Frame. Oof. Maiden of Black Matter. Was this the Wii U game? And they're Was supporting it, it. Maybe it's a it's a port. It's definitely. A but port. either, either way, it's a scary Fatal Frame game oh, yeah. on the Switch. Yeah. Does, um, does it use? Because I'm assuming since it, was, since it was the Wii U, and which is what came from um, 3DS, I'm, is it gonna use? The probably. I, 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 would I, think, I, know, I know the Fatal Frame for the Wii U did. Uh-huh. I would assume. Okay. I would so assume. I would imagine so. that they are. They yeah. went on a, a DLC Sizzle Reel, Doom Eternal, Tony Hawk Pro Skater One and Two, Strange Blades, Rabbits, Advance Wars. I'm um, excited for Tony Hawk. Advance Wars is an interesting one because they haven't done anything with that franchise no. in quite some time. So if I you, if you that, like yeah. Advance Wars, you should be excited that's coming out on the Switch. So, I'm, I'm so, excited for. The so they and, and, and by the way, Doom Eternal. That's a that's no, kind that's of a big, big deal. deal. That's yeah. a big deal. On Switch. How how they get that game running on there? I don't know. How they get that game running? How, now, now how she do that? It ain't going. It ain't going. That's that's a that's a. Uh, they, inside uh, joke you know, they, they, I'm sure they turned it down a whole lot. Yeah, but um, cool. now how she do that? Now how she do that? So they yeah, how she do that? They ended with or they ended with quote unquote. They said, "Hey, we got one last announcement yeah. to make." They talked away, about Numa. Hyrule Warriors. What it played? Uh, I was like, not, not Hyrule Man. Warriors. Yeah. Age, Age of Calamity. Age of Calamity. That's Age, Hyrule Warriors. Age of Calamity. Yeah. Is, is it? Is, oh, it's, okay. It's, it's, yeah. it's their. It's their. Uh, they're essentially their battle pass. Their their uh, DLC. Pass, the DLC right. wave. The, uh, hey, wave. that game looks good. I'd pick it up, uh, but not now. You got Zelda on a bike. Uh, you got Zelda. Zelda on a bike. Zelda riding a bike. Zelda. Uh, you got it. Basically, what's interesting about it though is that it's it's the next chapter in that story. Sure. So you're learning more about the war and, yeah. and what happens. That is what I like about it. That's before Breath of the Wild. Yeah. Skyward Sword HD. They talked about that July 16th. Yep. And that didn't tell us much else of anything, uh, but that's coming. And then, and, they, then they were like, one more thing. You no, know, but they were like, hey, we got this little game and watch. Um, oh, that thing! I didn't even. Write I got this little game and watch, which looks really neat. Where it's like, hey, you got your. Um, I don't care. You got Zelda One, Zelda Two, and Link's Awakening. On, yeah. it's I a, mean, it's a neat it's little, a cool little collectible. Cool they thing. made a Mario one. They, they had to do a Zelda. It's cool, one. It's cool it's a enough. Cool thing. I mean, because they were like, hey, look, we're not making any other I'm, games. I don't know. Here's another, here's some more Zelda stuff to hold you over. Instead of giving me Zelda HD, I think I would rather just Zelda play the new. HD that's that's okay. Nintendo reaching into your back pocket, knowing you're a Zelda fan, and going, here you go. Yeah, <laughs> buy this. Yeah. Um, no, they, they put they put the game watch in your pocket, and at yeah. the same time they take your wallet. Take your wallet, yeah. They pickpocket you, but they give you a yeah, little treat. Little, that sleight of hand. Uh, and then they show Breath of the Wild too. And I want a little more. I wanted a little more from it. Uh, I think Breath of the Wild had. Oh, excuse me. I think Breath of the Wild had the um, had the exact opposite problem of Guardians of the Galaxy. It just wasn't enough for me. I wanted a morsel. I've been using this this uh, comparison, but I wanted a morsel. I didn't want a full course meal. I wanted a morsel, and I got crumbs. I, we know more, we got more information with this little teaser than we got with the last one. Yeah. So you should, I think I think we're looking at this through the wrong I need to keep my expectations too. Because what they different. did show, they did show new abilities. Uh-huh. Yeah. That's all they that. showed new environments. Yeah, floating islands. Floating yeah. islands in Hyrule. So we yeah. might return to Hyrule. We might have some some islands up there. It looks like he has like this cool ability to kind of turn to liquid and. I was gonna say, fly up through the mountain. A lot of verticality. Mm-hmm. So a lot of people were saying that's like a time travel thing. Well, there wasn't. Uh, I, I don't know. Um, I don't know. But they didn't have like any. Um, <laughs> They didn't have a lot of like uh, I don't want to say verticality in the original one, but they didn't have a lot of stuff in the air. No. Yeah. Uh, so now we we're gonna be in the the actual airspace. In the air, air, air. air. <laughs> uh, but like using that little liquid form to kind of like pop, yeah. pop through platforms. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He has got that new armband that is kind of similar to the Sheikah slate, but he's able to like basically I guess reverse time. Like he punched that big spiky ball thing. Yeah. So we're gonna have a lot more like new abilities there. And did anyone else notice? That they that they didn't show Link's face the whole time. Yep. Why is that? Does Link have a beard? I think Link might have a beard. He's got longer hair. His hair is definitely that. long because when he's when he's gliding, it's it's like flowing. It's like it's like past shoulders. Hmm. Like, does Link have a beard? Hmm. Should he have a beard? Yes. 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 He should. Yeah. Absolutely. And also, I am willing to bet that we're going to play as Zelda in this game I as think well. so, too. It's 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 a long time coming. It'll, it'll come eventually. I think this might well, be... Well, out of all the Zeldas, that, the, the iterations of Zelda that we get, this is the one to play I would as. like to see kind of a... Um, 
I'd like to see a type of deal where, you know, like, Link has certain abilities, Zelda has certain abilities. Yes. You have to, like, switch in between. Zelda. And yeah. she's trained to be a warrior by Urbosa, so yep. you know she's got the skills. Kind of like, yep. like Yuffie and Sona in a little bit, maybe? That'd be dope. That'd be dope. But also, Enuma uh, said, we can't show you the title of the game until it's ready to show because it could be a spoiler. Mm. So in the title itself... Mm. Is something that we're not supposed to know. So until then, we just have to call it Breath of the Wild 2. Or the next Breath of the Wild game. Breath of the Wild, Ganon eats Zelda. No. (laughs) Wait, what? Now, it says 2022. I know it's a little far to wait as well. I do agree. I think there's just a weird gap there. Breath of the Wild, Wand of Ganon. It's not a lot. But but we... Comparing to Starfield, uh, because, yeah. because they both kind of have that okay. weird gap. Agreed. Agreed. Because Agreed. they Agreed. both have that weird gap, we, we certainly saw more with yeah. this trailer. Compared than to Starfield. Oh, yeah. Yes, absolutely. So yeah. we kind of have more to go off of. Yeah. Sure. I do enjoy that they gave us a little bit more. Yeah. But I think, it, what else to end the show with, you know? I think yeah, 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 yeah. Star I think the, I think the <laughs> I think the only reason that they didn't show another Smash character is because there's the possibility that this is the last one, and they want this they one want to, to be, be a big, big deal. deal. Now, Direct I will say that, that, that. that I, I, I'm going to pick you up a brain, and I'm going to say yes, so I know that uh, people like myself that was hoping that, you know, there might be a bonus third character. I don't think that's happening anymore. I think the fact that they only showed one today yeah. is closing the door on that. Now, I do think it's going to be a big reveal. Well, do you think maybe that's going to be another Fire Emblem character. Do you think they would do the bonus character first? First, when they do the reveal for the final, they can do it in reverse like that. Like, hey, it's a fire emblem. Like, oh, are you kidding me? And then, and then show, just kidding. And then show the real guy. Yeah. Show, that would be yeah. that would be on par. Like crash spins around something. and knocks him off the map. Uh, did you see? Did you see what's gonna crash? Did you see what I sent last time? It's how crash. there's like a there's like a um. Sure. I don't know. Maybe there's like Activision uh, though. Oh, they're, they're there's a um. <laughs> <laughs> no, they are. They, they are. You're, you're I'm right. Sorry, I'm, I'm messing There's up like scenes. a consistency with with the characters. They had like yeah, yeah. Um, oh, you're, you're they had you're like the the, the third the, mm-hmm. the first party character. It was it was Piranha Plant and Min Min, and then you had the um the well Piranha Plant was, was RPG an extra, character. Though. Piranha Plant was an extra though. Yeah, but they're counting them as DLC for for this purpose for for this particular purpose because it matches up with the consistency <laughs> because they wanted to because the they wanted they to look, look. exactly that's literally what they're doing. But um, but it does match up if you if you consider him as DLC. Um, they have the, the RPG character with Joker and um, hero hero. Then you had the oh my god I never would have expected character banjo, 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 banjo and, and Steve. Se- oh, it, no, and, then, and then and then they had no, RPG. RPG. Yeah, yeah it was, what was the next one? It was like uh, a, it was a fighting game character with fighting game yeah. character. Maybe I'm going a little too far. I don't remember. You That's said, uh, Terry Bogard and uh, it's Terry Bogard and, and I skipped Sephiroth. Yeah, there's, there's whatever and whatever matched oh, up wait, with Sephiroth. Oh wait, there was duos with uh, duos. there was duos with Pyro, Pyro, and Mitha, yeah, and, yeah, 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 yeah. and then you had the um, RPG character with Sephiroth, Sephiroth and, and Hero. Hero. Right? Mm-hmm. I don't know. We're messing this whole thing up. Yeah. But <laughs> There's a consistency somewhere yeah. in there. Yeah. yeah. And so right. basically what he's trying to say is it leads up to the last character being a Fire Emblem character. And if that happens, I'm uninstalled. I don't think they're going to do it. They're not going to do that because every Fire Emblem character no that Fire was Emblem announced was, was in like in conjunction. Co- yeah, in conjunction with the, the released game. But what if there's another Fire Emblem game, Brandon? <laughs> I mean, there's gonna be. There's gonna be. There's gonna Brandon, be. I'm scared, Brandon. It's a legitimate possibility. I'm worried about it. They're I don't want be. another Fire Emblem character. I do not want another Fire Emblem character. Sakurai, I know you're listening, because I know you're a biggest fan. Sakurai, if you put another Fire Emblem character in this game, I'm uninstalling it. I swear to God, I will do it. I will do it, Sakurai. I promise. But take a break, because I love you. <laughs> Take a break. Take a, take a break. Please, please, for your wait, mental health, wait, you're worrying me. This is the last show. This is the last show. Oh man, well. Um, so you want to talk? But don't about, do it, Sacra. Talk about what uh, you want to be talking about, like favorite showing, like who is who is. I mean, all technically, right. it was out of those. Out of those, there's technically four shows. I think out of all these about. things that have made me the most excited, mm-hmm. I'd say number one is Metroid Five. I'm really excited for I that agree. game. I agree. I think number two is the Smash character because I love Super Smash Brothers, okay. uh, and I think Kazuya is going to be a great fit. I think number three, ooh, is a close race between Mario Party and Contraband. 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 And I mean, from there, I mean, it's just kind of like an all-way tie between Back for uh, Back for Blood. Uh, no, I say back for Blood's next, <laughs> and I'd say like. Oh, no, five. Are you counting Sea of Thieves in this? I'd say I'd say Sea of Thieves. Yeah, yeah. I'd say okay. Sea of Thieves after so that. Top, top sea of Thieves is in mine because uh, I'm going off of how much I've seen versus what I. How much do I know what of a finished product this is? Mm-hmm. Um, 
but contraband is pretty high up there for not knowing anything about it. But unfortunately for me, Starfield and yeah, I, I, mean, I would agree is not really up there for me. Like I thought either. it would be. Or neither is Halo. I thought Halo would be a lot higher for me. I thought we would see some more. Um, but as far as Xbox is concerned, I, I, I thought what I saw from Bethesda, where really wasn't very interested no, in. It, no, it wasn't. Aside and, from aside from Redfall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Agreed. Agreed. Um, Steve, what would, what would you? So like? um, we're just gonna talk about like, yeah. and then Breath of the Wild, Breath of the Wild too. I've oh, gone sure. back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth with what I want on my list to do. Yeah, yeah, um, I didn't count Breath of the Wild in my list just because I don't know enough about it. Sure, um, I agree with that. I'm not saying that it's not up there because of course once I get once I'm confident with putting it on a list, it's gonna be number one. Mm-hmm. Just sure assume it's gonna be number one because I, I it's a Zelda game and y'all know how I love Zelda. Yeah. Um, so for this time, you know, um. Metroid Dread gotta be gotta be number one. I'd say so. It can't be. It can't not be. I'd me. say so. Um, I was I was I'm gonna tell a lie. A little. I mean, uh, I'm gonna tell a little. Tell a, a, fib. a little something I shouldn't say. Tell a fib. I had my phone sitting on my dash <laughs> while I was driving, <laughs> and like that's I, not safe. <laughs> I would just kind of like. I was listening. Yeah. I normally like will play and listen, but I just kind of glanced down a little bit. Yeah. Glanced down a little bit because I mean I was in I was in traffic like on the interstate. Yeah. So I really wasn't moving. Fair enough. And I was just kind of looking down, looking up, looking down, looking up. And I looked down. They I saw Metroid. On your toes tonight, boy. I, I saw I saw a Metroid. I said, "What? What is this?" And I, I, I took my phone and I just turned it off. Yeah. And I put it. That's I, was like a game. I, for, I put it on for my, the safety of myself and everybody around me. I put, it, <laughs> I, I put it in the passenger seat. And I said, "You know what? I'll just resume the yeah. stream when I'm parked because I did not want to." Man, Brandon, it. your ancestors are gonna pull on your toes tonight. Yeah, I don't have any. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> but um, okay. So number one, uh, Metroid Dread. Okay. Number two. I think I gotta go with Sea of Thieves. Okay. Love Pirates. Love Pirates of the Pirates. Caribbean. Pirates, Pirates of the Caribbean has a very special place in our heart. Oh, dude, yeah. That's... All them sleepovers. <laughs> yeah. And, yeah. The, and, the... and you know what's so funny is I was just sick. I had the uh, the stomach Sorry. virus not too long. Yeah. Ago. I had the st- <laughs> had the stomach virus, but I um I watched all three Pirates of the Caribbean yeah. movies in a row. That's awesome. Because I was just laying in bed. Those you just love how fate can be sometimes. Like, yeah, so just weird. watch that, and here we are. It's so strange. That's so cool. Uh, number three, number three was probably harder for me to decide because I had no idea what I wanted to put right there. But I gotta go with Black- Back for Blood as number three. Um, I love, man, I loved Left 4 Dead. Dude, when, so Left 4 Dead 2 and Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 came out on the same day, I think. If, if it wasn't the same day, it was very close. So everybody's like, it's like, oh, dude, you play that Call new Duty, Call, Call of Duty? Duty you play Duty, Call of Duty, Call of Duty, Call of Duty. Call of Duty. Duty. Man, 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 forget about it. Forget about it. Forget about Call of Duty. I'm playing Left 4 Dead 2. <laughs> Mowing Left through paper thin zombies. Really I got the really peels fun. with the yay. I, I got the peels with the yay. Yeah. Everybody want the Hawaiian punch, man. Everybody want a high lap pop. What you need, I got a thing. Got it like a final understand. I'm from Marrero. I got glow sticks. I'm from Marrero. I'm from Algiers. Uh, wait, 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 Steve. Yeah, yeah. I still I guess I got, I got oh, top sorry, five, sorry. man. Come on, I only got three of them out. Um, <laughs> and then I'll... Uh, uh, Number four, <laughs> number four is Mario Party. Gotta go with Mario yeah. Party. Can't, okay, can't Mario, Mario, Mario Party. Mario. Uh, number five... <laughs> came back. Uh, number five is going to be um, uh, well, God dog it I can't remember so the name of it was it was it was Steve it uh, has Red the Ball. most ADD game I do I know I'm telling you okay, okay. Uh, I, I'm, I'm neurodivergent guys <laughs> um, is that a gender no that's I'm sorry I'm joking <laughs> I'm joking but um but um uh, I'm Steve <laughs> <laughs> That's my Jacob, Jacob, Jacob your turn I gotta go with Guardians of the Galaxy man that came wow. out of nowhere did I not put that on my list no, no, you didn't. that's all god dog it I forgot about it it's on my list it's tied for fifth Guardians of the Galaxy holds a special place in my heart because I didn't think that franchise would be great when I when I heard about it the music I think Star Lord and Chris Pratt are my spirit animal and Guardians of the Galaxy holds a special place in my heart number one and we did not know about this game at all no leaks good on Chris Square Pratt X. I love Chris Pratt um, I will defend him from cancel culture I will anything. say we don't like leaks we don't do leaks we don't do leaks I would do Rainbow Six Siege or excuse me Rainbow, Rainbow Six Extraction as number two oh, yeah. Rooftop Rumber uh, Rooftop Rumber uh, God man at this point it starts to get muddy I'm gonna go ahead and say it's probably between I wouldn't mind putting contraband in there. Contraband, contraband. Uh, just, but I don't know enough. But I can't say that. So I'm gonna say. I'm, gonna I'm say, just excited for the concept of it. Sure. I'm gonna say. Okay. I'm gonna say Redfall at number three because that concept really, really has got me excited about Shooting it. Shooting vampires. Shooting with vampires. Mistakes. Unique skill sets. And then I'll say contraband. And then I'm gonna end with 
which sucks because all these games are on freaking Microsoft and I don't have an Xbox or a good PC. I'll end with Mario Partnik. Mario Party because we Mario Partnik. <laughs> yeah, I would say I already knew about the golf, so that was kind of already there. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I would say Mario Party. They they always so the thing about Nintendo showing that is they always have that one game that's about to come out. Yeah. I am surprised we didn't see any Pokemon. I thought no, we were gonna see something. I, I knew know, we were yeah. gonna see Pokemon. Brandon was fussing me because tight. my bingo card didn't have anything for Pokemon. There, I, I figured they were gonna show something. something. There's gotta be maybe a direct soon, like down the road. Hey. Look, we've had a lot of Pokemon here, like, lately, hey, so hey, I'm okay. Take a, yeah, we'll take a break. I'm okay. Yeah, yeah, snap's kind of still hot. Pokemon. Snap, and, Ooh, and, and just after E3. I pick up that. Right after E3, they, they uh, announced a new Pokemon game. So. Yeah, yeah. So. <laughs> Pokemon Unite, I think. Yeah. What? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Really? It's I like a remember. dungeon crawler game. It's interesting. Yeah, yeah. Like, I don't know. What? Yeah, like, so, mine. Most, most of mine, a lot of mine are kind of, like, far off, but... And yeah, yeah. I, I'm, I'm with you, Brandon. Like, Starfield would should, should have been... On that list, it's not. It's so just strange. too far, and we don't. Yeah. It's too vague. If I if yeah. I'd have got a little more, I'm not saying it's not gonna be a good game. Exactly. If I'd have got a little more about it, I'd have um. So this, put it on my this list. is the part where you say, "Who won E3?" I hate that saying. Who yeah, won I E3? Agree. I don't know. But I, if, if I had to choose what conferences I enjoyed, I think it's clear that the top two, in my opinion, is Nintendo and Microsoft. Yeah, because I agree. there is no Sony this year. But then below that, you can throw just about anything down there. I'd say probably Ubisoft. Oh, you know, for or, the longest time, or Square. Maybe Square, Square. I mean, Square and Ubisoft could probably tie, and everything yeah. over that is just. For the longest time, I had Square as number three, but then after we were talking about the Rock, the Rocksmith Plus, I kind of bumped Ubisoft up. Ubisoft wasn't bad. No, uh, no. But Square, other than other than Guardians and the uh, Avenger stuff and Strangers of Paradise, all the rest. Of and even Strangers of Paradise's trailer was so stupid. God, I've got. I, I, I'm I'm here for two things: chew gum and kill chaos. Kill I'm all out of gum. <laughs> uh, Capcom came in and uh, really didn't show anything at all. So except for like, hey, Reverse is coming out next month, and um, we yeah, got oh, yeah. we got DLC coming for eight. Yeah, the monster we hunter stuff. Ju- the real monster hunter stuff. Yeah, he's like, we literally just started it Capcom, like yesterday. <laughs> Capcom did the thing that's, that's, that Square has been doing in that way. Hey, you've seen all our stuff already. We're just here. We're just here. We're just here. But that's, we, love you. Here. we love we you. Love you. That's what I want to say about it wasn't a big... We didn't even talk about Capcom. It wasn't a big, it wasn't a big stream, but Square did well with what they hey, packed. Yeah. What they Square sent. has done some... Snake. Really bad shows. Yes, and the past two times they've gone has been pretty dangerous. So for yeah. this is a step up for them. Yeah, I agree. Uh, but I, I think I'm with you. I think I think mine would be flipped. I think I would be more Microsoft, and then Nintendo. And but but by Fair enough, they're, they're, well, right, right after what, what, what? right yeah. after Nintendo, y'all would have thought I put Nintendo at the bottom because yeah. I was upset. I was I, I was upset. I it's my fault though because I do this to myself. I, sometimes I just get so caught up in what I what I'm imagining to happen with E3. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just kick that damn hype into turbo, turbo mode, yeah. and it never backfires. But it backfires. It was that. Time. It was that hype clip. Yeah, you're right. It was that hype clip. It was the hype clip. <laughs> I hope you're playing it. Yeah. No, I'm not gonna put it on this one. <laughs> but <laughs> everyone's that was a really good. That hype was a good hype clip. Every, every, you know what's funny? What and I'm like, <laughs> that's, that's I'll, I'll end with what, what I want to say is. So watching some of the news, they they have a lot of. Um, What's the uh, I don't know what that channel is where they analyze like stocks and stuff. Is the trading channel? Uh, uh, they have a bunch of them. They have like Fox Business. Know. Yeah, something something like that. Uh, CNBC. And I saw one of the headlines E3, and I was like, oh, I gotta go watch what this is. And it, it just happened after after they. Oh my. And it, 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 they were talking about yeah, they were talking about all the big studios, but some of the studios had dropped, but Microsoft was the one shooting up. But um, but if, you no, have, if you have a strong E3, the stocks are gonna go. But but they had talked to some guy that's right, gets kind moon, of baby. in that same like business, but like knows gaming kind of both spheres. Reporter, That's and he was I talking about done. how like E3 this year was underwhelming, and like it was. yeah, compared to other E3s, Yo, look, sure, like, but for what they have had to go through, you know what the ESA has had to deal exactly, with, exactly, exactly. This wasn't okay. You know what E3. though? You it know what okay. though? Absolutely. This I'm is, not gonna I've seen exactly. much worse. Oh yeah, yes. oh yes, with the A A A and the Y Y Y. We need to talk about 2006. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but, but in all honesty, though, like I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna be that type of person. Man, I got people <laughs> on the internet who talk about like, oh, this E3 was garbage. Why didn't they even bother putting it on? No, no yeah. I'm not gonna be like that. I'm thankful we have E3. Exactly. Because let me tell you something. Last year, I realized we had taken E3 for granted. This country, the way in which that this country, it's all a bunch of pansies, all right? I'm just joking. <laughs> but, but in all seriousness, though, um, we really took E3 for granted. And, and, and having that year off without E3, 
It sucked. It was it was there, there's an empty hole in my heart where E3 was supposed to be. And, and Jeff like, Keeley tried to fill that hole. And tried. Jeff Keeley, God bless you, Jeff Keeley. You are an international treasure. And you <laughs> must did. be protected he, at all. He, he, he tried to fill that hole. I think he did a better job than he did last year. Last year he was, he was he was on the he was on the reins like, hey, we gotta go, we gotta go call people, but this was like definitely more planned and organized. Yeah. Um, he he did a great job. Jeff yeah. Keeley worked with what he had and I I would like to it. say the reason I think Nintendo I'm putting it number one is because it had the most not only surprises, but it had the most to show for yeah. it, and it had everything coming out. They like had probably had the most stuff coming out this year. Yeah, um, you know what? I, I, they they would announce a game, they would show the game, and they would date, date the game. The game. Yeah. And oh. that's it. It's like Metro yeah. Prime. I mean, uh, Metro Five. They, they, they were they, the only they, conferences that did that. They came and, and, and almost every game they did. They did that for, except for like Breath, Breath of the Wild, Wild too. Right? They so, they were the only conference I think that had a solid release date. So that, for most I think they just had more of a consistency there. But if anything from Xbox, I learned that I need to get Game Pass. I need to get a good computer. Yeah. <laughs> that's really yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's, oh, yeah. That, that I agree with you, and it makes me sad. Yeah. I tell you what, though, I I, 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 I'm gonna well, give they, them. I mean. It, and during the, I don't know what generation of console it was, the three six, I had a 360 and a PS3 because of the reason. Yeah. 360 had certain games and PS3 had certain games. You, I wanted to play Metal Gear Solid 4. I wanted to play Twisted Metal. I wanted to play Infamous exactly. 1 and 2. I wanted to play God of War 3. But I also wanted to play Dead Rising. Yeah. I wanted to play Halo 3 with my friends. I wanted to play Gears of War. I wanted to play Left 4 Dead. And I wanted to play games that didn't run like poo poo yeah. on poo-poo. the PS3. Uh, but I wanted to play the PS Classics and I wanted to play these over exactly. here. But this is the first time they're actually bridging a gap in between. They're making their console different, yeah. and that's what they're supposed to do. That's what makes consoles different. That's the point of having the different consoles. Exactly. They're, you don't want to like. I can play Final Fantasy 15 on both of them. They play almost exactly the same, but it's got a different controller. That's not the point. Right. That's because if you have that, then most, why not just have one console and play them exactly. all? Exactly. And that's what everybody wants, but they don't realize that that's not healthy for the industry because yeah. it makes cool things like this happen. Because you gotta it have makes competition. Possible. Competition. Competition breeds ingen- ingenuity. Mm-hmm. Comp- you you gotta you, you're trying to outsmart your opponent here. You ain't been on TV because I made that possible. Like, you know what I'm talking about like for Casino? all of for, for all of <laughs> cap- for, like okay, like for I, I'll me. get I'll get a little economic here for all of capitalism's <laughs> faults. For all of capitalism's faults, one of the biggest benefits about capitalism is the fact that competition drives ingenuity. Yeah. Competition drives like I need to be like Microsoft. I need to be a b- better than Sony. Be, 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 be. I need a better co-op shooter. Exactly. And then if he's going to have a better co-op shooter, then he's going to make it. And it just makes and that's why the industry I love, go forward. That's why I love E3. And that's why I'm always going to gonna be like on Team E3. I'm always going to sure. push for E3. I know the past few times we may have been a little hard on E3. We may have been like, oh, E3 is not what it used to be. It's not much. I'll, I'll, I'll agree there. You know, we were, everybody was just like, E3. <laughs> yeah, they, E3 was, was being, do you remember Connectables? <laughs> E3 Do you remember Wii death, music? <laughs> do you remember Wii music? <laughs> <laughs> you remember that? And then but, Miyamoto was up there, and it, oh my gosh. <laughs> that, that, God, makes me want to die. <laughs> Do you remember that? <laughs> but, but. Do you remember whenever Konami brought out the real but, wrestlers and they started slapping the guy around? Oh. Do you remember that? I forgot. Man, God bless Konami's <laughs> early days. Do you remember that? Oh, how can I forget? Those are treasures. Save those archives. Do you remember the time archives. they came out the little magic book? You remember the. Uh, oh, yeah. You the magic wand and it yeah. wasn't working, and they yeah. had to, like. <laughs> Go to the next game. <laughs> <laughs> or do you remember that time that uh, the Battlefield demo didn't work? Or yes. Or, no, no, Black Flag. It was Black Flag. They were showing mm-hmm. Black Flag, and then it just glitched out. They're like, all right, well, uh, well we're going to show coming. you something else, well, You remember, you you remember when um, freaking, what's his name, Fable guy? Uh, Peter Molyneux. Peter Molyneux was, was uh, talking about Fable, and then Fable just stopped. He's like, oh, that's not supposed to happen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but in all seriousness. E3 is important because it gives everybody that opportunity to show off the ingenuity, show off this is why we stand out. This is why Sony is better than Microsoft. This is why Microsoft is better than Sony. This is why Nintendo is the f- king. But in all, but we need this. Yeah. I, the industry needs this. Not just the industry, but the consumer. Because we need something to look forward to. We need to generate hype. <laughs> hype, sorry. Sorry. Because hype's important for, for us all because it gives us something to look forward to. It gives us that rush of dopamine. Like, man. Man. Yeah. Guys, I'm scratching my throat. I have to like hey, crack it. For, for everybody says it was a bad review. show, it was not a bad show. Nope, if you all. thought this was a bad show, go watch the, the highlights that we were just talking about. Go, yeah. go watch the 2006 highlights. Uh, of, go of watch that. And then, and you can move your fat you body can here. The only bad thing about the C3 is that Sony chose not to participate, yes. but there are rumors on the horizon that they're going to show up. 
uh, like two weeks from now yeah. and possibly have some things that I don't want to like, I am disappointed in Sonic speculate on, but apparently they're going to show like the new GTA Online thing there. I don't know. That's, that's the rumor. Yeah. But, um, yeah. I think it was a great show. It was good. It was fine. It was fine. I'm glad. I'm, I'm actually getting more hype the more I talk about it and yeah. like marinade. And, and, and also, uh, they're showing Kazuya. They're doing the breakdown on the 28th. I yes, think, that's, yeah, and it'll probably release shortly after. Sure, probably. So we're, we got some Smash to play. Very we got cool. some Sea of Thieves to play. Yeah, we got some Final Fantasy Yuffie DLC to play. Mm-hmm. We got Stranger of Paradise demo to play. Yeah, we got uh, we got, got demo, demo, demo. Man, that's a good game. We got we got a lot of stuff. I don't know. Hey, we're gonna have to wrap up this episode. But yeah. next on the next episode, whether we record that in a week or not. Um, I have a lot to talk about. <laughs> we, we, I, I will at that point. We have a lot of stuff. We didn't even talk about comrades when we played it. No, we didn't. Um, I didn't talk about a lot of stuff. Ratch and Clank. God, that game is so good. really good. Anyway, what did you think about E3? Did you like it? What was your favorite stuff that you heard got announced? Who, you, who, who won E3? Yeah, we've been running a long time. Sorry, but oh, hey. Oh yeah. You know what? It only happens once a year. That's right. Hopefully it keeps happening. I need a glass of water. I'm Brandon. I'm Jacob. (laughs) And I'm Steve. We'll see you next week.